Here we go again. Oh, 
everything we got Give it an honest shot Turning it on and off with being sliding Riding the highest dream Keeping the fire real I call for you Hold your gun Cut the wire Aim for fun With the light your fire I've been flying up the ceiling Take it by this feeling Maybe we're invisible Chateau, it's Tuesday. Coming up today on Building a Nation with MTK, we begin our journey in Hungary into the future of Hungarian football. Can we take them to the very top of the coefficients or will we be here eight months later complaining about how we're only third in the coefficients? I guess we'll have to find out because all that and more is coming up today on Building a Nation with MTK. And we're dancing. We're dancing. Oh, even in this jacket, he's still got... Oh, oh. He's still, <laughs> what was that noise? <laughs> Holy shit. Oh, I'm so sorry, Asher. I was hoping it might trigger a second intro. Sometimes that can happen in these scenarios, you know? Mustache. I know, it is a bit thicker on top than it is down below, isn't it? Wait, what did, I, what did I miss there? Why is it not showing up in my thing? <laughs> no. You've had your Scotland, now piss off. <laughs> Where's the duck? Good question. <laughs> Where is the duck? He arrives when you least expect it. Mm. Oh, thank you, Glorio. So, yeah, I tried to do it last year, but I found that it just didn't really work that well in terms of the way I got the stuff across. So, I, yeah. <laughs> What's that pencil line above your lip? That's my nose. <laughs> right, I've got some stuff to thanking people to catch up on before we get cracking properly. Uh, Watch oh out for Jade Aon. He can haunt your dreams and steal your soul. Bloody 24 months hype. <laughs> Bloody Jade Aon. <laughs> Oh, right. So where do we start? Lord Richard, firstly, thank you for the 27 months. Double Lux, thank you for the follow. Matt Hughes, thank you for the 18 months. Two Stick, thank you for the follow. Captain Zeep, you absolute legend. Thank you for the five gifted. Uh, Turger, thank you for the I don't wish to be murdered by Jade Aon at this stage of my career. Sick Jade Aon. I'm loving Jade Aon already. Jade Aon is becoming one of my new favorite things. Holy shit. Well, that's a thing. You love to see it. I will, where are we going? Right, so then I got to J John John T, thank you for the nine months. Lou Boy, thank you for the 16 months. Percy Plays, thank you for the 15 months. Asher, thank you for the 14 months. Just going down in a row here. Ollie Mads, thank you for the 18. Where do we get to? Obo Hong for the 24. Mother Fluffers, it's MTK time. <laughs> yippee ki yay, sexy people. That's the one. Oh, speaking of MTK time, it's Pog. It's a live Pog. Is that a warm coffee? Oh, you love to see it. Good luck at MTK Matto. I Hope think I'm you are not getting sacked in the morning. I've got a pog chat. A wild pog. Just talk all the time. Correct. Have you changed your name, Rob? Is that what it is? <laughs> mm. If you're coming here for FM, you're in the wrong place. <laughs> this is a... 
This is an FM free zone. <laughs> Where did I get to? Hungry Hippos, thank you for the 23. Marisco, thank you for the follow. Icarus, thank you for the 11 months. Fuzzy Buttons, thank you for the 14 months. There's some hype. And we rest. You're feeling all right now, aren't you, Bob? I think so, anyway. The MCL Architect, thank you for the follow. You've got coffee all down your leg. Unfortunate. Oh, I'm curious, actually, now. Is anyone else starting the same save as me at this point? Because if you want the save file, the exact save file, so you can have the same, like, seedings and whatnot for, like, regens and stuff, um, if you do exclamation mark save file in chat, you'll find the download link for it. Oh, my God. Neutral normie. Thank you so much for the five gifted. That's so unbelievably kind of you. I love how it was separated by messages there as well. How is everybody today? I hope you're well. Looking for a doff. That's a good point. So we do have some slight changes to the database. I'm sure most of you will be aware of the changes that we made. Um, but just to clarify, I figure that the, particularly for Vodis as well, now is the perfect time for me to sort of run through the change log, if you like. Is the lady of the abs a fan of the mustache? Not your mustache. No, Gideon's mustache. Oh, this Gideon's mustache. Well, Gideon's mustache is mostly blood. <laughs> it's kind of like when you drink a milkshake and you're left with that bit on the top lip. Are those balls in the coffee? <laughs> it's the glass. <laughs> Oh, you haven't heard of coffee balls before, Glorio. So, God, you're so uncultured. <laughs> Have they fixed dynamic rivalries? Not to my knowledge, no. Basic Greg, thank you so much for the two months. You're not basic at all. You're at least advanced Greg by now. Mm. And Kaiser Soze, thank you for the four months as well. Bloody hell, all the resubs this morning. That is quite a beefy little hype train. This is good coffee as well. Really like that. It's bubble coffee, isn't it? You have an ear in it, Oh, that sucks. You get those quite regularly, don't you, Pog? Yes, yeah, we've got a little just got a little ear canals, chat. Need no, locks. But it's because when I got my Toit. when I got my hearing protection, mom, right? The guy was flirting with me while putting there you go. blue shit in the toilet. Always have a good time for a new save. No, 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 thank you, Fatboy, once for the eight months. He's turned around. Oh, and Gulliver Franklin, thank you very much for the follow. Sorry. Turned around and said, "You got really petite ear canals, right? Do you want to go for a meal?" <laughs> Sorry. You have really petite ear canals. Would you like to go for a meal? <laughs> chat, you heard it? If you're struggling to find yourself a lady or a man friend, do you now have the best chat up line possible? Really petite ear canals. Want to go for a meal? I mean, I try it. This is when I was like 17. That's up. A... I mean, how old was this gentleman? <laughs> it could be worse, but it could... <laughs> Bro boy, thank you for the follow. <laughs> Those are some nice ilk. I see what you're doing there with them lobes. <laughs> let, me, let me tickle them lobes. Mm. I haven't had a warm coffee in... Actually, that's not true. I had a warm coffee literally on Saturday from that lovely independent coffee place because I'm one of those people. Oh. Mm. So what I was actually going to say, but before I got so rudely distracted by Pog being awesome, was we made a couple of changes to the database stuff. So you'll be able to see what they are if you actually load it into the editor because it will give you like a list. The first thing that we changed, and I feel like this is actually going to make it harder, so I feel like this kind of balances it out a little bit, is we've implemented a Norwegian-style loan rule system in Hungary, whereby, thanks to Hadrian, I say we, Hadrian has done this, so big shout out to Matt for that. Um, what it basically means is that, you know, in Norway, basically, when a player is loaned out, they are not allowed to be blocked from playing against their parent club. Now... The problem we had in Nor in Ireland was a lot of the time when we loan players out, even though we tried to prioritize it so that they would be able to play against us, often the loans that were put through still had the cannot play against parent club put in them because of our loan manager and all that crap. So what we've done is we've basically implemented those rules from Norway over into Hungary, which means that it's now impossible for that to happen. So it's blocking us from stopping players from playing against us, which will mean that the league will be way more competitive for longer and thus will be more difficult. And that's in a good way for me. You know, so that's one of the things that's made it going to make it more difficult. Now, I have a couple more changes. The first thing is that Emmett Doran and Thighs Freeze are here, but I'll explain more about that in a second once I get my big facey mug off the screen. The other change that we debated for a little while was the developing slash developed nation state of Hungary and various other factors. And basically, we came to the conclusion that from what I saw in the tests, whether you set Hungary as a developed state or a developing nation, good, uh, it didn't actually affect summer. so much the number of players you could sign, especially not the first part of a save. Friends. You just got a different excuse from the players about it. The issue that I was worried about was that what would happen later down the line is that when the other Hungarian sides start getting success, like they always do in these sort of saves, that they would then get fucked by it if they were still develop, uh, sorry, developing. So we have changed Hungary to a developed nation. If you look at some of the um, other nations that the game has assigned developing slash developed, it's bizarre. Medi! Fucking hell. Thank you for the 10 gifted. That's unbelievable. Um, Thank you so much, my friend. How's it going? 
how is my wonderful you, you are norwegian aren't you Benny? i don't know why i thought you weren't for a second there that's so kind of you we'll get all sorts of presents on the screen in a second don't worry chatter they start to invest lots of money for... well exactly i haven't changed anything to do with their financial stuff or anything like that we did look at game importance but to me what's the difference um it affects things like um infrastructure for players to want to join certain clubs in certain countries potentially the problem is it doesn't evolve over time which means that if you make hungary one of the best leagues in the world players will still say that they don't want to live there even though realistically speaking if it was the best league in the world or one of the top two or three that would not be an issue if you see what i mean you know so that that's in the same way that all those players moved to china when china had loads of money flowing into it even though maybe they didn't actually fancy living there they still did it because of the financial growth that they could potentially get from that so fm doesn't model that very well so that's one of the things we've taken into account with these things i would love it if it was dynamic i really would but that's just life isn't it we kind of got used to these things by now magnus and noah moss thank you for the follows guys that's super super duper nice of you let's get off this get ready for get the infrastructure answer i suspect you do i've seen several different answers in all the tests basically hadrian has kind of got the um so basically, Hadrian, this is it. The best way to describe it is shown in Discord. There's three static categories. The top one we've moved into includes Andorra and the Faroe Islands. The second one includes American Samoa. And I believe Turkmenistan as well. So like, which one is Hungary closer to realistically in terms of its economic situation as well as the infrastructure? To me, it's closer to Andorra or France than it is to Turkmenistan. You know? <laughs> and that could really cause some problems. But again, if you don't want to have that in your version of the save, then you could just edit out the database, um, which I put the file up. Right, let's go off of this. Get ready for the... There we go. Um, firstly, presents. Dazza, thank you so much for the five gifted. That's so unbelievably nice of you, my friend. I don't think I'm ready for a bit. Yeah, so that's something I don't think we're going to see anywhere near as much because I think that was a Treaty United bug specifically. Oh, yeah, Little Big Dave, yeah, thank you for the follow. Hmm. That's true. I don't trust them with the... Uh, the stadium is wrong, no? That's what FM has the stadium set as. So I tell the um, so, yeah. But if it's a name issue, I can change that myself. I, I've got a, I can change stadium names if that's the issue. It might just be the FM have got the wrong name. <laughs> Imagine that. Chicken Tikka Musiala, great name. Thank you for the follow. Don't they put the new one? I don't know if it's actually happened yet. Um, let's see. Uh, hang on. Oh, wait, you can just click from here, can't you? So, I'll be honest with the chat. I don't know. This is, um, that is where they play. Okay, cool. Oh, the database of the team. Uh, so if you do exclamation marks, uh, oh, hang on. The, the, the database itself is in the Discord, um, unfortunately. I need to make a, a command for that. Um, the skin is, uh, Sats, if you do exclamation mark skin. Uh, I am from England, yes. This name here is the new stadium they play at. So hang on. Just to clarify, before we move on, this is the correct stadium, yeah? <laughs> is it maybe just that the picture itself is wrong? Because bear in mind, this is from a pack. I can change that as well. Picture. Oh, I see. Right, that makes sense. Yeah, it's because it's an old stadium pack, so it just associates it with their... Presumably, they keep the same ID or something for it. Cooper, that would make sense. Do not hate me. I am familiar it's with lovely to have you back, Maddie. How's it going, my friend? I hope life's been treating you good. Uh, hey, Shamus, thank you for the follow. Yeah, so I'll... um. What I'll do is I'll find a new picture on Google and update that. That's easy enough. It's just a, um, it's not, uh, yeah, again, that, that's just what FM calls it. I don't know why. I could change that too. That's easy enough. That's something I actually can change mid-save. Because mm. I can run up my own, I can build my own name fix for it. So that's not a problem. Um, Dadges, thank you for the follow. And Sam Alderson, thank you so much for the four months, my friend. I hope you're well. From a nearby country. There's only a few of them. Chicken Tika, I suppose. Wales. Scotland. Those I guess are nearby. What makes pick the teams to manage? I don't know. It's sort of like, um, it's one of those things where when it comes to picking a team, with building a nation, we pick the nation before the team. And with the, I don't know if those of you have actually seen the video where I actually talk about this, but basically when it comes to picking a team, I always like to pick a second tier side. And with the teams that are available in the second tier of Hungary, now obviously I realise we've got the, the Seged boys, who of course we've managed before, but it felt like a team as historically important as MTK Budapest were the prime example. What are the rules in Hungary? So in this league, it's actually really quite, well, I would say really restrictive. It's quite restrictive in that we can have no more than three non-EU players. Actually, it's only non-EU, so it's not like foreign. Um, it's like, yeah. But, and quite a lot of nations are counted as EU, especially African nations. That's kind of sick. Well, for this league, anyway. Um, there's like a whole list of them. Senegal, Nigeria, Cameroon. Have we got Regan Booty? We don't have him, but he is in the database. Don't worry. When I set the database up, I've done the usual setup. 
I've made sure that Regan Booty was available and obviously that uh, lovely goalkeeper that I'm hoping to sign because I've been told that we can get him. So we will see. Uh, in one of the tests I did, he wouldn't sign straight away. So maybe we have to wait for that. I don't know. But the second tier rules are a lot stricter. If you go to the top tier, there is match rules. Domestic under-19 players are automatically eligible to play in all matches. That's almost like an anti-rule. Is that level 8 hype train as well? Holy shit. That's insane. Thank you very much, friends. It's unbelievably nice of you. Hmm. Now, what I couldn't seem to figure out is what the match day rules were. Because every time I loaded into a save um, with, like, match day setup was, I couldn't seem to see any re any rules particularly at all. So if anyone has any... Yeah, so manager, obviously, is Lubin Mihov. We've got... Let me... How do I find him? Uh, big boy Lubin here. Now, originally, I was going to import his face pack picture from the Zgen file. However, for some reason, it was not available in the config file for me to figure out which picture it was, even though I could do the same thing for Emmett. So are there actually any Here's a fun fact. rules well, for the squads in the top flight? Because it doesn't even appear to be squad it. registration. It's, yeah, it's mad. It looks like it's complete free-for-all. Do the I don't know if they have the deadline day thing, actually. I haven't played enough through little tests to see these things. We went looping over Thighs Freeze. I'll tell you for why. Um, I don't know if you, those of you that saw the Treaty United looking forward stream, but Luban Mihov became the greatest manager in the history of football and also managed Treaty United to multiple Champions League titles. So we decided that he really had earned himself the right to be the manager. Why does your manager look like a vampire? I base him slightly on me, you know? And as you can see from how dark it is in here, not allowing sunlight to touch my body is kind of my thing. And my pale complexion, you know? <laughs> so it looks like it really is just open. Um, but yeah, why is he 46? So the reason he's 46 is because that was the age that he was at the end of our previous save. In terms of he retired as a goalkeeper uh, did they get this right? Ah, oh, that's annoying. In one of the test versions I had, he had the exact same number of appearances for his country as he did in the save, which was just complete luck. But unfortunately, he's only gone for 46 here. But yeah, so the reason he's 46 is because at the end of our last save, he was 46 years old. And it's the same with the other two players that have come over to this save with us. Uh, so players and nations, I only have Hungary loaded. However, as you can see, we have 111... Um, 111,000 players loaded. But that is done by... Loading players, not the leagues, as you can see. So that means that we'll still get all the regions from the nations and so on and so forth. If you want to learn more about the database specifically, then do exclamation mark database. And there's a video I made last year. It still applies the same on FM22. Uh, FM23, rather. Oh, dear. Hang on. If you want a custom picture for the manager, you could do it in the settings. Oh, no. Bear in mind, it wasn't a photo issue. It was getting the picture itself. I couldn't find the picture I wanted in the Zgen pack for some reason because it wasn't showing up in the uh, config file for some reason. Whereas that's how I found the other ones. It's bizarre. But yeah, so that's how that's set up. As for the other two changes, I mentioned that we had Emmett Doran and Thighs Free. So Thighs, let's start with Emmett. Basically, you might look at that and go, he's fucking outrageous. Thing is, though, the guy he's replacing is insane. So I basically gave Emmett the, a couple of the better attributes that he had. So he had 19 working with youngsters. Uh, the actual guy that he had replaced has 20 working with youngsters. He's a guy called Zolt. Um, I can't remember his full name, but he's actually better. But then I kind of based the rest of his attributes or his CA and PA based around the guy that was already there. That way it would basically balance out. Emmett's still a bit worse in these and he's a bit better in one of these, I think. And he's obviously worse at working with youngsters. But it turns out they had an absolutely dominant hoid to begin with, basically. And a lot of that, Zolt Nepper. Pepper. <laughs> Zolt Pepper. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> I will get to the um, lookups as well. Don't worry, because I did see some of those as well. You'll see that he's the, oh, actually, chat. Just salt and pepper. That you just absolutely had me there. Bays off to a flying start. Um, I have something to show you. So for those of you that might be new to the streams, uh, Emmett was a bit of a legend on our Street United save. Uh, man scored seven goals in a single game to propel us into a European match and uh, became a bit of a legend. He took the number seven shirt. He's known as ED7. You'll see the ED7s in the chat. But once Edit Emmett retired as a footballer, he became the head of youth development at our last club. And every time we got a good youth intake, we did a little thing called ED7. And I'm going to do that for you now because there's been a slight change to the ED7s. So get your ED7s ready, friends. I'll give you a free one here. Um, just enjoy. At this point, I used to be blowing vape smoke, but I'm just going to hold my thing and dance awkwardly instead. He's ready for business, and business is players. I need to change the lights to blue. It's the one thing I didn't do. Blow that another tab before it goes off the screen. Got it. Redirect notice. God damn it. 
Let me just check. Oh, that's sick. Yes, I'll definitely use that picture. That's perfect. Thank you so much. Oh, my goodness me. Yeah, I've got to change the colors. That's the one thing I haven't set up yet, but that's that's an easy fix. Where's music gone? Hi, music. You coming back at all? There we go. That's Executive Doran. That's what the E stands for. It's Executive Doran. So yeah, Emmett's Emmett. As for Thighs Freeze, he's nowhere near as good. Um, because again, I wanted to try to keep it as close to the current assistant at the club as physically possible. Christian, thank you so much for the follow. Bovine Seeker as well. Thank you for the follow. Looks like Max Rush. He does look like Max Russian in a suit, doesn't he? We retire in the number seven shirt. Yeah, I think we probably should, you know, honestly. A in a way. Then again, that's from the previous oh, yeah, stage. It'd be weird sure. to retire a number seven yeah, shirt at a new not. club, wouldn't it? He's got to earn it. Demand! Thank you very much for the follow. Uh, so, copyright music isn't happening yet. It will be, but basically, Streamlabs, not Streamlabs, OBS 28, which will allow me to do that really easily, doesn't. It conflicts oh, yeah, with a couple sure. of the plugins I use, yeah, and it would break all of not. my automated stuff on stream. And until they get that sorted, I can't update it. So, that would just kind of start when it starts. Smithy, thank you for the follow. Bulgarian named Nikolai Mihailov. It's close to being Mihov. See the F1. I did not know. Um, I actually, I saw that Magnuson got pole for the sprint race and I was genuinely excited about that, but I've just kind of forgotten. If we download this data, yes, yeah, so if you download the database, they're in the staff. If you start the save file, they're in the staff. The save file has them already built in, as does the database file, because I had to add them as like new people. And then I just got the um, face files out of the ZGen pack by looking through the config files for the IDs. I tried to do it with Luba Mihov, just didn't work. Upload to YouTube. Um, It'll be on the second channel in like its full VOD state, I suppose, Dart Thomas. So like the, the whole stream will be on YouTube on the second channel though. A Gideon Plus, yeah, no. I'm probably going to literally go to Budapest and grab one. Th that I'm planning it. Me and Mike were literally talking about this the other week. Ooh. A no Black Jag, because I couldn't, one, I couldn't find it. And two, we didn't notice that it actually affected Hungary in any way. Loads of stuff towards the future there were still no restrictions so to give you an idea also weird thing right we have two affiliate sides in the same league as us and we have still got affiliations with them now i don't know if that's just because it's hard coded and if they were to come up say after we promote it, then they would get cancelled but i wonder if hungry handles this differently but that could be really really um fruitful for us potentially if that's not going to be a problem so that's something to keep an eye out for as well. But yeah, so in the future, I looked at like 2032 and MTK still had like six guys on loan to the same teams. Permanent affiliates. They might be. I don't know. We can have a look at the affiliate setup whilst I get to the the lookups that we've got just clacking up there. I don't know if it'll actually tell you anyway, will it? First season, this will drop from 20 to 80. Really? I did briefly look for a slightly extended to see if we could get a lower league one, but I couldn't find one quick enough. Uh, Timo hasn't put a lower one out yet. I love that he's back, though. Yeah, we still got Liverpool. That right there is going to be so useful for us. Holy shit, that's going to be useful. <laughs> Decreed the game is broken. We'll find a way. Don't worry. Mm. I thought, I'm trying to be less complaining this year and just accepting it for the memes. Liverpool not watching the same time. I'm sure they weren't watching to begin with. Mm. The second line means it will. Uh, hang on. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you're right. Playing in the same division. Meanwhile, we're playing in the same division. <laughs> so that presumably means that if we were to get promoted and then they followed us, it would cancel, which is a bit annoying. But that right there is going to be so useful. Kind of like what we did with Dundee United and Fulham, where we took all of Fulham's youngsters on loan and it was delightful. Right, I've got some lookups I'm going to quickly get through here because we want to... Uh, Christian Pulisic. <laughs> you mean the greatest footballer that ever lived, right? Or as that man would have us believe. So obviously he's still at Chelsea. He's he's just he's a bit good, isn't he? Sharing their scouting knowledge. Well, that could be. I mean, I say useful for us. Not of this the earliest part of a save, but it's useful to have that kind of knowledge, right? Yeah, we should be able to get a load of loans for free. And given the way that the loans are in FM, um, <laughs> it's going to be bloody useful, particularly with the way that teams still demand absurd amounts of money to loan their players, even though they're the ones that want to loan them out. Still at Chelsea on day one of the save. Hey. Weirder things have happened, all right? I tried to load into a, a test version of this save yesterday, and it had the editor here, even though I specifically had the editor blocked from the save. And then in the game status, it said, editor editor turned on, no. Editor used, yes. I'm like, how is that possible? So, so yeah, bizarre. Max Borsu, thank you for the follow. What a great run of To be honest with you, Daz, I've never been happier to see Brentford win a football match. And I, I say that sincerely. I was very happy for them. Because of what happened to us last week. It's not letting you download the skin. Uh, that's bizarre. Um, it should be fine. Like, it's just a folder and you want to... Yeah. Um, Saz, if you're here. 
Multi alarms have been renewed, seem to not work as well in FM. Oh, good. Oh, yes, very Oh, good. They are building Lails and Sankey Gold. Thank you very much for the follows. Am I saying that right? I hope so. I hope that's not the case. Um, but I guess we're on. It's one of those things that would have been very hard for me to test, sadly. Uh, Scotland, just in general. You're just wasting your points here, aren't you, friends? I am building a Gideon mode. Worry not. Oh, I do like the way that this displays this. It just gives you... Actually, it feels like it's the same amount of information, but I need to get some more kits as well. North Korea. I just... One of these days, we're going to get a North Korean one kit. I'm just saying. It's going to happen. Oh, God. There's a Harabishi Vultures. Right. Let me get North Korea on the screen for a second while we handle this absolute menace. The reason I love the skin so much is because it gives you so much information on one screen. The less movement that's required, the better, right? Um... I really would like to see Arsenal win the league, honestly. How do we finish Dundee? Uh, we sort of just didn't, <laughs> to be honest. <laughs> it was only supposed to be a uh, a sort of temporary save. How can you make money? Um, TikTok tells me that dropshipping and Amazon FBA is the way to go, honestly, Kens. Right. Less movement is good. Matt's way, but... How dare you, but also how dare you be so correct. <laughs> uh, the skin is Saz23. Right, um, we have our Harrow Bishop Ultras. So, most of you know what to do. Those of you that don't will pick this up extremely quickly, I suspect. Uh, chat, I'll give you five seconds. And a five. And a four. And a three. And a two. The first Harold of the brand new save. You'd love to see it. Let's go. The minute you get up tight, you're dead. I try not to lose my temper with myself. Oh, for goodness sake and shit and balls. The minute you get up tight, you're dead. I have no idea what's going on here, chat. I did not press that. <laughs> I have absolutely no idea what's going on here or why that's on the screen. I did not touch it. I must have got up tight and now I'm dead. Look, there's not even any lights. <laughs> oh dear. Zawakio. Thank you very much for the follow. Emmett must have got up tight. I don't know what happened there. I'll be honest. Um, that's Skynet's finally gone and got us, I guess. The, yeah, Emmett Doran's just like, no, today, this is what I do. Oh, good God. <laughs> Unhealthy, Flax. Thank you so much for the 10 months, my friend. I hope you're well. Betty, did I see you say that there was 500 people watching this? That's terrifying. Um, did I connect that all up right? One sec. Just checking a couple of bits. There we go. Right, okay. We move from North Korea. God, to so see Harold and then Emmett. You are in for a treat today, my friends. Tell you. Harib Abdallah. This chap here from El Shabab. Yeah, I mean, the thing is, right? That sounds awesome. The problem is, this is the kind of guy... Um, why is USA arrival nation of war? I think you know what. <laughs> you started to do internship. Sick. How's that going for you? I know it's only been one day, but um, we'll get to the squad in a second as well. Uh, exclamation mark save file. We'll get you the actual save file itself. And the database is in the Discord if you want to start a fresh one with your own manager, etc. So yeah, problem with a player like this, of course, is already has caps, but also the £20,000 a week nearly that he's on. That our, our highest player, to give you an example, is on 2.5k nearly. So we'll have a look at that in a second. It's um the wage structure is pretty tight, and we have no wage budget available at the moment either. TCS, thank you for the eight months, my friend. I hope you are well. Right, let me just start moving through some of these. Oh god, Nacho, don't even. <laughs> I don't want to hear that man's name. Although to be fair, fair play to him. Like he looks like a real talent. Um, he changed the game when he came on for United on Sunday. I wish he hadn't have changed the game, but here we are. You know. Oh, the squad should be good to go. Honestly, I think I don't think we have to make too many signings, which is just as well because, of course, you know, yeah, he's still at United. Incredible. <laughs> I know. Day one of the safe, still at United. Kel fucking super ease. Well, there he is. Hey, what the? Your dissertation. Oh, what are you writing your dissertation on? I would say, can we help? The answer is obviously no. We are no help to anyone. <laughs> Oh, Joris Manquan. He's the, um... I realise that's not he say his name. I just felt like saying it. Hmm. I mean... Right, what we'll do with him. Let's ask his agent first. Oh, 
Hi. I'd like to report a robbery. Mm. Sorry, how? How exactly? Hang on. But of course, your boy never leaves it here. <laughs> Always ask them to drop it. Always, every single time, ask him to drop the wages. There's no downside to asking it. Literally, I've done the test. No matter what you do, it will not make a difference. The only thing that can happen is that you can get success. Um, I'm thrilled. I realize that right now... Let me just... That's fine. Hopefully they'll actually let us sign him. Willing to enter contract talks with us. Interest in his services elsewhere. More interested in PSG. Do you know... Imagine him being more interested in PSG than us. Does he not know what I've got to offer? Uh, language course is fine. I'm going to make him a fringe player. Because... Actually, how good are we talking? Are we talking like... Could actually play for us first season? Or are we talking like we'll need a bit of time? Squad player? Really? Uh, so yeah, it's very annoying, Ben. The percentage thing being... It's one of the ways that they've simplified scouting. And by simplified, I mean dumbed down. And I believe it's to do with console parity. It's a bit annoying. That's a good point. Gideon, he doesn't know about Gideon. Maybe sub at best first season. So, impact sub then. Happy to move on. I bet you are. He's not patient though at all. The three consonant derby. Who will win? Who has the highest, like, scrabble amount? Probably. Actually, I reckon a... I think we can do a good job in Scrabble. Right, I'm going to offer him a bit more than... Um, what was the max I can offer him in wages? Okay, quite a lot. The average wage, bear in mind, is about 350. So as much as I don't want to overdo it too early, if we can get him on a longer contract... I say longer contract, he's only 16. Can't max out, we, are, we can't afford it. But we'll get rid of that. About 350, yeah. Well, solid strikers. Right. That's the thing. But, you know, if you can get him an extra boat clause, yeah, it's probably not a bad idea, actually. He's French, too. So we can boat him out the wazoo. If I do something like... Hang on. There's a limit to how much you can make. Uh, That's fine. There's like a diminishing returns after a certain point. If I could get him to agree to that. Top division wage, right? I'm actually okay with that. Usually I wouldn't be, but I'm all right with that. Let's see. Satisfied with these terms, I'd like to go away special time considering. That means I'm going to join PSG, but thank you for the coffee. Uh, really, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> that really does be meaning, yeah. Um, okay, interesting though that he would even. For a second, I thought we'd just sign Garnacho. <laughs> Don't know why I thought that. Yes, Chaddy, thank you for the follow, and Johnny Hero PT, thank you for the follow. Right, uh, Roy Galvin, I suspect that we're not going to find anything there. I just want to try and get through these so we can. Uh, unfortunately, not hey, those. Uh Jack Wilshire, is he even in the database anymore? I thought he'd retired, or has he got coaching now? Ah, yes, he's. Holy shit. He's... Also, I like Jack Andrew Gary Wilshire, but he's an unbelievable play, not player. I mean, he was an unbelievable player. God damn, he's good, coach-wise. Anyway, is he really that good or have they just absolutely... And Gary with two R's, the lesser spotted. Doesn't it really? Try so we can't boat claws anymore. Intra oh, no, it would never work with the minimum release fee. That was not why we put it in the contract to begin with. Viking Superman. Months. Pretend this is a funny message. <laughs> oh, Viking, you you do rock my world. That does not sound what I was in. Well, there we go. He didn't just update. Oh, God. I actually looked yesterday and there wasn't one for um Hungry. So I thought, well, I guess he's here. Yeah, that's an insane amount of stats he's got going on there. What's his? Ah, he has got a pro license, so at least he can't, like, improve any further. <laughs> So there's that, I guess. Uh, Riga Booty, of course, is available. We won't be able to sign him straight away because obviously money and whatnot, but he is in the save. I made sure that I set it up so Riga Booty would be available for us. There he is in all his bastard glory. Uh, I will shortlist him, though. That way we keep an eye on Big Regan, just in case he does anything silly. Um, I'll come back to the MTK squad one in a sec, because that's what we're going to do anyway. Amadou and Darby. Uh, this, oh, this is the Peking guy, isn't it? Uh, who actually... Oh, he's got two caps for Senegal. That'd be tough, right? Only just signed a new contract. Okay, cool. We can come back to that. An overview of the new save. So basically, it's building a nation. It's MTK. So it's, think Treaty United save, but in Hungary with MTK Budapest. I have made a full video that actually goes through everything in a bit more detail. There's a little bit of information on exclamation mark save as well. Is this the other chap? Landing 
I mean, Landing Badgie is a name I would like to sign. Oh, he's a keeper. But if he's a keeper, do we really need him if we can try to get what's his magic? He'd cost quite a lot of money, and we don't have a lot of money. And I think his wages would be a bit obscene for us right now at this point. We've got to sign a guy called Gideon at some point, presumably, right? Yeah. The guy I really want is Nathaniel Lawusu. He's the guy. Oh, he's Zimbabwean. Ask his agent. Wouldn't be interested under any circumstances. That's interesting. I'm running at West Ham. Oh, God. Um, moving to a different club. Oh, no. I, I don't know. <laughs> um, how do you mean upgrading like you mean facilities or players because if it's players then i am not the man to ask unfortunately um shortland shortland of course is, is very good but he's never gonna sign for anyone like us at this point the goalkeeper i really want is mr uh mr cheeky mr cheeky nathaniel nawusu i did some tests he's ridiculous like he oh weird one i was doing a little test with um dino zagreb to use nathaniel nawusu at the club won the bloody champions league while i was holidaying and then the game crashed. So that's the thing. Don't win the Champions League. Yeah, that's the Nigerian guy. I'll show you in a sec. Um, I don't think he'll sign for us. Which is annoying. Because I was told that he was. But maybe we'd have to wait a little bit. Uh, is there actually a Joseph Joseph? Ah, oh, you hate to see it. And obviously there's Classy Classy Net Neck. Who I'm glad we're going to pay a visit to. Because we have to um, change his name. As per. Still looking fantastic as per. Right. Classy. Classy. Nick, Nick. There we go. Get that sorted. He still looks kind of necky. I'll be honest. Uh, so DF11 for the face pack and TCM for the logos pack. Joseph, as in. Surely not, right? That can't be right. He's very, very good. I'll, I'll show you Nawusu in a sec. Because the problem we've got. I thought we'd be able to sign him straight away, but apparently not. Um. This is he. Those reflexes are 15, if I recall. Or they certainly were on the test one I did. Um, he's got very good aerial reach and good command of area. He kind of ticks all the proper boxes, basically. The issue is... Under any circumstances, which is a very annoying situation for us. So what I'm going to do is shortlist him as well, because I want to try and get him. I just... I want to get him. And he's 69 kg. Like, what more do you want in a situation like this? Right. Okay, now would be a good time for us to look at the squad, I suppose. So, we've obviously got a couple of absolute standouts. And off a trial, that doesn't do anything. If the player isn't going to come to you on under any circumstances, offering them a trial. Also, basically, trials don't work unless they're a free agent these days. Almost never anymore. They just get turned down. Are these real players? Yeah, yeah. This whole... Um, I don't think they've got any regions at the club at all, actually. Because they had a full plethora of under-19 uh, under players. The game didn't generate any, like, random guys, basically. Water FC in six months. Well, that's the plan, hopefully. Oh, you'd love to see it. To be honest, Pablo, for inventing the Pablo method, you probably should have had this much sooner. Uh, hopefully this works, and I've not just vipped someone who's not you. Things you hope. So, yeah. Isvan Bognar. Attacking mid. Although, that just means he's slow, right? Yeah. <laughs> the moment I see Unganche there, I'm just like, that means you're slow and can pass really well. Um, so he's a playmaker, basically. He, he's an absolute playmaker. Where's Somalia? <laughs> well, you know that when we find him, we're going to make him the captain. Hopefully he's got good leadership. Dictates tempo. He's very good, obviously. He's one of the highest paid players at the club. He's probably going to retire here, I suspect. That's the hope anyway. We've also got Nemeth, who's 33. But finishing a 15, composure at... 13 like he's a proper good striker so that's useful just having a player like that is very very useful he's a bit injury prone though decent top flight player really really nice to see um that's things you like to see we've also got futach is it futach or futach i'm guessing because of the s but yeah another striker target forward six five big man little man anybody <laughs> oh he's a tall boy only has 15 jumping reach six five and only has 15 jumping he's a slow one though can i play him as a center back what you like on the tackle? Six. Yeah. Nine marking, though. What's his positioning like? Eight. Yeah, probably not. Former Portsmouth. Uh, yes, he is. Holy shit. Futach. Um, yeah, I figured that would be because of the S. Because if he was like Serbian or something, I would have pronounced that like Futats. But I guess because of the S giving it like ch sound. Got to work and I voted. 
Uh, what exactly do you vote? <laughs> what, for the center back? <laughs> Looks like a box to box. Oh, yeah. It's just the box is like a box of chicken. <laughs> so, uh, what have we got? Kovac. Uh, Mateus Kovac. Oh, inverted winger. Okay, good. That sort of implies that I'm piecing together like tactical shape based on our best players so far. So, at least we've got white players. Hmm. He's good. He's very good. Like, he's just... Oh, I fancy some KFC now as well. He's solid. And remember, this guy's 18 years old. That That's the thing. He's 18 years old. He's going to get better. Knox will pass opponent. Cost from both wings. Reasonable... Ah, good. That's awesome. So he could technically be inverted or a winger on either side, depending on, like... Like, he needs to get a lot of game time this year. Tons of it. And I think he probably will. Lacks a bit of consistency, but, you know, we don't care about that too much unless it's bright red. We've also got Mahali Kata. Oh, there we go. What's his tackling like? Good. Stamina? Yep. Okay. Like that. He's kind of one of those, like, box-to-box -box that could also do a bit of ball winning, too, with his good tackling. He's just like a dynamo in the midfield. Okay. So we've got striker, creative midfielder, left slash right winger, and now someone to sort of sit alongside him. Okay. Does he have sneaks up on goalkeeper? <laughs> Hey, El Destructor. They were relegated first season of your main save. How could they be? What, they were relegated from the second tier? Jesus, that doesn't bode well. We've also got uh, Sabolch Meze. Oh, okay. So he's a slightly deeper player, but he's another creative option. But he's only 21. Which means that he feels like the natural successor to... Um, my f What's his name? Frendo from uh, Bognar. Okay, that's fine. I'm feeling depth. One thing I've not noticed yet is a lot of defenders. It feels like almost all the players we've come across so far, bear in mind I'm sorting by current ability, have all been forward players. Uh, so let's try someone different. Okay, good, a left back. He's quick. He can, oh my God, look at this chat. A left back that can dribble and cross. Can't tackle, but he can dribble and cross and he's actually pogged like that. And he's only 28, so there's a bit more to it. And look at the backup here. Got Sean Bourne Nodge as well. Consistency, fairly poor in the air. That's fine. I like him a lot. Don't mind a bit of that. Okay, we've got Stieber. 33 years old. Okay. Ah, but that's at least more wing options as well. So, can't really go wrong with more wing options, although I suspect that he's going to be losing a bit of that pace very quickly, considering he only has 10 natural fitness. So, he's probably not one for long, right? But that's fine. He's still a very good player for now. I'm, the pope. I'm feeling inverted wingers take off the pope hat. at this point, or like inside forwards with like... It feels 4-2-3-1. The problem with the 442 is that you then end up you can't use the inverted wingers properly in a 442. And I wouldn't want to have to play them deeper and out of position. And with the players we've got, it's looking more like they'd have to be more advanced. You could do 424. Four, or go for like a 433 type of or technically a 4231, I suppose. It just depends. Uh we'll have a look. We've also got uh Cipe. Who's a centre back? Excellent. 14 jumping reach. 14, 12, 13. Lovely. Good. Don't mind a bit of that. That's that's what I want to see. Oh, hello, another youngster. Arta Horvat. Another creative midfielder. Okay, so they've got a lot of creative midfielders coming through. Hey, Saz. Squad page to help you keep an eye on your fellow Hungarian squad personality. Do you mean this here? Is that's gonna be quite useful actually for looking at the other teams, I suspect. Anyway. How many trying to trying to sign right now? Um, I haven't signed any. So none. We don't have any money. Uh, we've got one guy that we're looking at on a free transfer. Yeah, I'm glad you noticed that, Wack Human Being. Yes, this is Patrick Poor. <laughs> uh, debatable. <laughs> that's, probably, that's probably that's probably all right, isn't it? Um, we've got Roland Lehotsky. Another ball winning midfield. Although I suspect no, 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 no. He couldn't play. I mean, not with eight jumping reach. Not in a two anyway. If it was a three, I wouldn't mind so much. Oh, he's a libero, natural libero. You love to see it. With wide wingers. The problem with that is I wouldn't want to play them as wingers because they're not really wingers. They're more like inside forwards. And bearing in mind, we've got like a 33-year-old strike. Like that, I suspect our strike force is going to evolve quite quickly. Do you ask for wages? No. Um, because often that will put them off. Particularly as often over time, you'll find your wages are going to grow a lot faster than theirs are. So you don't want to be offering any wages. You want to get yourself to a point where you can basically pay for their entire squad, essentially. <laughs> oh. Patrick, all right. Christmas tree, 2 a.m. has retained the, retrained the wingers. Nah, 
we've got good wingers. It, it seems asinine to look at a set of players that are good and then go, hey, let's retrain everyone and play in a different position. Like, one of the beauties of coming into a brand new club like this is we can evolve a little bit around what we currently have. So that's kind of good. We've got a guy on loan here. He's on loan at... Well, he won't be next season. Let's put it that way. WM. That went well last time, didn't it? <laughs> that went well, didn't it? We've also got a 21-year-old here, Benedict Varju, who is... They say centre-back, but... Actually, yeah, he kind of is, isn't he? Can't cross. Can dribble a little bit. No aggression. Mm. We'll see what happens with him. Evolving strike. <laughs> Pan Panache would actually be... Oh, hang on. Just out of interest. Wait, man not got an agent. Oh, Panache. Okay, we'll short this him as well. Because we know it's, it's Panache. He'd be way more successful in Hungary than he would be in... um Bloody... He wants quite a lot of money, though, doesn't he? That's the problem with old Panache. We've got Martin Palinchar. It's weird how they defaulted him to being a winger there. But actually, with that crossing and dribbling... What's his left foot like? Reasonable. I like that they've got a bit of multi... They're not just, like, fully... They haven't got, like, one strong foot, one weak foot. They, generally speaking, have at least got, like, a reasonable weak foot on a lot of these players, which is... Re hang on, listed. Oh, is this for low? That's fine. I mean, he won't be, because he will be definitely not going anywhere. Sombor no, she's the other centre-back, isn't he? 11 jumping reach isn't ideal, but he still looks capable. We do look a bit light in the defensive zone. Thankfully, we've got that other guy down here that we'll have a look at as well. Oh, hang on, it's this guy, isn't it? Oh, no, it's another winger. And again, reasonable foot. Liking that. That's good. They're very stacked in the wide areas. They've got a lot of wide players, which makes me want to use them, you know? Which is fine. We'll definitely... And he's got Curl's Ball, which would be quite useful. for Maybe even for free kick. Double stacking wingers. Yeah, why not? Have advanced... Have like, you know, uh, AMR and then a WR behind him. No problem. The Greek Second League. I don't think we have the scouting range for the Greek Second League. Something tells me. Uh, oh, good God. Uh, yeah, cheers, FM. Thanks for that. Yeah. Uh, well, no, <laughs> pretty much no, but that's fine. Also, remember, in the league we're currently in, as an AMSR, ooh, is that just like a, a winger that just speaks really quietly? We haven't seen a lot of CMs, no. It does feel like the game is prioritizing DMs more this year. Plus, remember, we've got Liverpool as well as our affiliate side, so we can probably get some free, boy, free boys in on top of that as well, which is quite useful. We've got Shamodi. He does not look 33. Oh, there's some good youth players too, but they're actually real youth players. There's one guy in particular. There's Engelbert. Can't, can't forget Engelbert. He's a keeper. Oh, good. I'm glad we finally found a keeper. He reminds me a bit of... Who was the Portuguese keeper? That was... Um, was it Ricardo? Who, like, full head of grey hair, basically, when he was playing in the Portuguese national team. I believe it was Euro 2004. I think it was Ricardo was his name. Saved a penalty against England. Uh, right, so we got this guy as well. We've got Adam. Adam's quite a popular Bulgarian, uh, Bulgarian, um, Hungarian name, isn't it? Although maybe I'm just thinking of Adam Bogdan. So he's, oh, I like that. He's passable as either a winger or a wing back if we retrain him. We'd have to retrain him to play like slightly deeper. But the fact that he can do both is actually kind of useful. Have to be careful though. But, and he's got good on both feet as well. Look at this guy. Love that. Who hasn't said, I mean, you and I probably haven't. Maybe. I don't know. Cheru, thank you very much for the raid. I hope you're well. How's it going? Doesn't that, that's it. Yeah, you're right. I should have probably uh, narrowed it down a little bit more than that, shouldn't I? ICJs, thank you for the follow. Uh, let's see. Where are we? Oh, this is one of the... Yes, okay, so another centre-back. Oh, I like him. 20 years old, 6 foot 1, 13 jumping reach. Slightly worse technically, but the potential exists for him, I would say, which is exciting. I like that. We've got... This is... Bear in mind, this is just the first team. We've got some other talent in here too. I, I, yeah, I think he has to get some football soon i like i want to give him and kovac and horvar and people like that game time as soon as possible i'll oh, see you later Drew. thank you so much for the follow for the follow for the rate my apologies let's try who was i up to torishik oh it's another ah okay but again that means lack of actually no he's not totally immobile dick takes tempo uses outside of foot that's gonna look great in the match engine he's a... is he really a mess okay that's a bit more like it not, off, not too bothered by that. Plus, there's some nice youngsters in the depth down here, which is not too bad. Obviously, some of them don't have the highest levels of potential, but most of them do. Uh, we've got Akos 
Zwiegeva. I'm sure I'm saying that wrong. Probably another inverted winger. With again an okay weak foot. Is that just something they've changed this year, maybe? There's just more players with decent weak feet. Uh, let me do the shout out as well while I'm at it. I've forgotten. Uh, there we go. To do the shout out command, Inferno, you have to actually do slash shout out. It's like a mod command rather than a um, third party one. Hmm. Uh, oh, this is the other guy, isn't it? Capronshai. Fullback. Okay, so that's back up on the left hand side. They're a bit weak in the centre backs in that they don't have a lot of depth in the centre back zone. They've only got one goalkeeper that I've found so far. Hmm. So bear in mind, what I've got built so far is this. This is what I was looking at before, and it seems to be quite possible, quite um, useful. It would allow us to. I don't know if we'd want to use a roaming playmaker in it though. We need to have that kind of depth there. I might change that to an advanced forward because I'm actually not convinced that the pressing forward thing is actually that effective anymore. It's effective, but like, I don't believe it's actually as effective as it should be, if that makes sense. Right, I've got a couple of players to look up here as well, haven't I? Uh, we did MTK squad, we did Joseph Joseph, every uh, Oh my god. The names are going to throw me, so bear with me. Do you know if there's a training uh, coming anytime soon? Oh yes, very soon. Stoica. Yeah, building it now. Dominic Stoica, okay. 18 years old. I don't know if alone. Can't help but scout him, of course. We'll do a bit of that too. Um, This is probably going to be way better than doing the scout recruitment not the scout recruitment the recruitment focuses as we already know they don't work properly uh boat on balor of palmer good player never in a billion years gonna sign for us of course doesn't work on mobile for some reason oh really i think it's because you have to be in like mod view on like yeah it's just one guy called nigel i think i find his name is pronounced nozzle <laughs> actually <laughs> jammy dodger thank you for the follow hmm. right is it XMTK. Do you think he'd come back on loan? Probably not, let's be honest. Load every league just the players. Um, I mean, you can load every league, but it will slow your save down and it will not help you in any way. So, like, if you're not planning to leave the club, I don't see why you'd want the other league switched on, particularly. That, that's the way I tend to think about it, but that does depend. Uh, hang on, he's just Italy. <laughs> Who do you play for? Italy. Okay, would you fancy a trial? He's probably well above our station, but you know, when you play for Italy, who's to say? That's fascinating. I can't believe that French striker would talk to us. That's kind of mad. I hope we get him. Jaden Smith, do you know? It's another striker. I don't think we need him, but we can trial them. There's really no no harm in trialing them. I think I took this guy on trial at Stockport, actually. Best, hang on, there's a guy called Wellity Lucky. We'll actually probably get a scout report on him anyway, because he'll come through with the... um. Well, there he is. And he's a centre-back. I can't scout him at the moment because of our scouting range. Oh, actually, yes, I can. It's just going to cost us a bit, so I've got to be careful. Will Smith, apparently so. Yeah, I play for all the Italian teams. Booty's in the database. It's just that it's going to be unlikely we'll get him because he will cost money and we don't have money. To give you an idea, this is our situation. And we're going to need a little bit of that to try and sign um, Mancol. I, I would just call him Manquant and then just pretend that he's like an actuary or something. Right, so he's... Oh, shit. Hang on. Right. First things first. Bank balance, not good. It's it's good-ish for now, but expect that to decline very, very quickly. Possibly with Northern Ireland. So, Northern Ireland, from what I remember, has what looks to be quite difficult squad rules, but they're actually not as bad. But you will have the Brexit problems, where by signing players from outside... Poland is very good. So, yeah. What's the best this weekend? Sick. That's awesome. I do need to get across there. I, I do, because I want to go and grab a load of stuff from there. They don't ship to outside the EU, basically. So I'm going to have to go to Budapest just for the day to grab a load of stuff. Right, let's try and get this guy a new contract, because let's be honest, he clearly does need one. Otto Lindenbrook, thank you very much for the eight months. I hope you're well. Rolling from Poland? Maybe. Maybe. Hmm. That's the problem with any kind of British save, really. Uh, like... That's why, that's why I chose the Republic of Ireland, because you, you, you get, like, the language element of it, but you don't have to worry about any of that sort of stuff. It's, it's fantastic. Um, so, yeah, he needs a new contract. We'll obviously discuss it with his agent first, because reasons, and then you can do that. That's a nice chunk off the wages, too. Particularly, sometimes they go to the lowest amount, so two to three hundred, all right. Offer you a new deal. Do you want to break through prospect? I'm fine with that. So... I'm just, I'm just going to negotiate. He's a very patient agent. 
So we're going to just piss about with him. Oh, okay. Interesting. Wow, you've gone really up for it, haven't you, Benz? Okay. Harsh in FM. Um, well, to be fair, it's not really a case of being harsh in FM, right? It's like, um, they're just following the rules, aren't they, as far as I'm aware? I do find that sometimes it can get a bit arbitrary. He's actually... We've got to be careful of that. Fuck it. Give me a... Okay, just give me a year on that and we'll discuss this later. That gets it out of my sight for the moment, for the main thing. There's definitely some class in the YouTube as well, for sure. Uh, tactical instructions, I've already dumped a tactic in for the moment. This is irrelevant. <laughs> like, this is... We can't do anything about it, so there's no point in negotiating it because you can't anyway. Uh, but there you go. Uh, ooh, uh, hang on, let me just try and... The obese Alki. Jesus Christ. Thank you for the follow. MTK stands for... Uh, let me just remember where it is. It's... Okay, that's annoying. Um... Why does it... Is it on general? Where is it written? I swear it's written somewhere. Because they have got a long name and it doesn't show it properly. Magyar Testia Korlok Kure... Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to call them the Magyar Test Kitchen. Hey, RC. My tiny kitchenette. You weren't that far off, apparently. <laughs> so it would seem, anyway. It's in the editor database. Ah, okay, that's right, yeah. I expect you to know that's managing. <laughs> MTK. That's all you need. I'm going to keep calling them accidentally MTJ as well, so that's going to work. It stands for Martin Truex Jr. Budapest, all right? <laughs> Somehow. Uh, here we go. Han Kwan Song. Oh, he's the... Yeah, just not happening, is it? And we can't scout him either. Or we could, but that would cost us a fortune. Exactly, the players don't need you. Get Randy. Where's Randy? Gianluca Prestiani. Play for Velez. Yeah. The, the chances of us being able to sign a player from Argentina, I think is, I actually have to be careful. With, if I, that would cost us a lot of money we don't really have. So I can't even get a scout report on some of these guys because they're so expensive to do so when they're out so far out of our range. Apologies for the burp. Crack. Oh, what a great name. Oh, hang on. I remember this guy, actually. I swear you had me look him up before, Bagpuss, on the other save. Klattenmacher. Yeah, the guy from Unterhacking. Dirty, dirty Unterhacking. Who's he wanted by? Dortmund. Right. Um. Do you fancy trying to... Sign a guy from Dortmund. Oh, the team reports don't work. No. Oh, sorry. They, it's not that they don't. It's basically, if you go to a team that's outside of your scouting purview, you, you literally can't get a team report. It will just say it's too expensive. Do you know if there's a train coming anytime soon? Oh, yeah. So very soon. Marty McElwee. Thank yeah, you for the follow. We could not. try and... Um, uh, for 40k, don't have 40k. Wouldn't be interested on in any circumstances, but he would be interested in a loan. A loan is not helpful for us right now at this point. Because, you know, we've got players. It would only work if we actually had them, like, permanently. Push cast. Do you know, I don't think he's actually... Oh, unless you're thinking of, um... We will eventually... Do you mean the... Like, what, what are we looking up specifically, Otto? Because there's obviously lots of players called... Yeah, there's obviously... <laughs> the one you're thinking of obviously being Ferrich push cash, but, like, yeah. Loan with option to buy. Doesn't work like that. Um, they won't go for it, basically. They'll accept the loan, but the moment you go to the part where you... Because when you do an option to buy, you have to negotiate with the player themselves to do contracts for when they do come. And even if it's only an optional one, it still doesn't work, basically. Because, yeah, you just can't do it. It's annoying, but you can't. Any self-imposed transfer restrictions? Hell no, that would be silly um, in this type of save, anyway. Definitely means the Reading striker, Christ. Who is the Reading striker, isn't it? Uh, how am I scared of the new scouting method? I'm not in that I think it's horrible and I will not be using it because it doesn't work properly. <laughs> Summers, thank you for the two months, my friend. Hope you're well today. Hum. Uh, spelled differently. Oh, okay. League rules and hungry. In the division we're in, pretty harsh, but that's okay. Top flight is a, basically a free-for-all from what it would seem. I'll refund your points for that. We will actually get to some stuff in a minute, chat. Uh, I don't want to be spending... I don't want to be doing lookups the entire stream. Uh, oh, there's just no chance. Just... In a billion years. What on earth? <laughs> what on earth? I'm sorry, is France broken? Apparently there is a chance. So you're saying there's a chance? Just call him Bob. If he's... Bear in mind, cheap and free are not the same. 
Have, has, has the game broken for us for once? I know we don't need loads of strikers, but, you know, <laughs> reasons. No other club's interested. We could get him super easy. Plus, I don't have to offer him shitloads either. Because he's not being wanted by PSG, so we can just do a little baby um, one of these at, like, particularly because I can't offer him anything more than that. The only reason I was offering it off at the other guy more was due to the... I don't know. Surely he won't go for that. Oh, hot... Hang on. No? All right, fine. Just give me the... Give me that. There we go. That's fine. That'll do for now. Okay. Bear in mind, well, there's a limited number of non-EU players we can have as well. And yeah, we're just not going to be able to stop doing lookups all day, are we? Um, like, at the end of the day, I can't move the stream forward until... <laughs> Um, free transfer from Argentina. We'll trial him. With guys like that, it's better to trial them. Uh, Sugiria. I don't want to flood the team with random wonder kids either, honestly. That's boring. Um, Rwandan. I, I get the feeling he's probably not going to be useful for us just because he's 31 years old and has loads of Rwanda caps to go with it. And we know nothing about him and we can't trial him. Well, we could trial him. He'll say no. Uh, wait, that not I could try trialing him, but I don't think I want to sign a 31-year-old who's got loads of caps at this point. Bobir. Uh, is this the um, Azerbaijani guy, or is he... Oh, Uzbek. Okay. Um, has a contract. So there's not really much we can do with that. Short setbacks really weak. I've been noticing that for the past 10 years, to be honest with you. <laughs> That's why I tend not to sign them. I know there's exceptions to that, but generally speaking, they don't perform that well. Uh, no Liam Ravenhill. Hmm, what league does he play in? Right, okay, one more, and then we can go have a little look at the youth team as well. Plus, I want to progress today so we can see how those other contract negotiations go. Look for no contracts. Uh, well, we're looking for players, but, like, uh, bear in mind, uh, this isn't me, like, taking loads of requests. I'm just looking up people, players that they wanted. I didn't know we were doing, like, actual requests. Um, yeah, he's not going to sign for us. If he's playing for Yupin. Plus, actually, as a loan, though, I'll get a scout report on him. Right, let's have a quick look at the um, youth team because there is some quality in here for sure. Uh, where is he? Yeah, this guy here. Bakoji. 13 finishing, 12 composure. He's not the quickest, but he does have great natural fitness, which is really, really nice. He's definitely one for the future. He shouldn't at least... Do you reckon we should put him in the second team at least? That's the thing. We kind of... We're on a tight budget. The squad is one of the best in the league so far anyway. So we don't want to get bogged down in too much. Um, we'll wait until we get the low... Because basically, with um, later in the window, we'll get a report through that will have all of the loan players that are available from Liverpool. And it's best to just wait for that, basically. Right, let's try and get these... Yeah, they rejected it. This is what I mean. If a player has a contract, almost never... The only time I find that play clubs are willing to let you have the player on trial is the, during that four-week window at the end of their contract. Yeah, they've still got the Liverpool leak. Leak? Link. Uh, we will set this preference to... I love that when you set this preference to never, you still have to attend the meeting immediately afterwards. Let me leave. Also, where's Somalia? I don't say Africa. <laughs> where's my boy? Is he in the youth team? What tactics we decide to go with? Don't know yet. It's probably got friend is. We'll figure it out on the fly. Um, he's just gone. Hang on, let's just type it in. Would have been easier, right? Oh, he's a free transfer. Well, I'll be damned. Hey, what is his leadership? <laughs> it's actually not bad either. It's actually not bad. Friendo, would you like to come to Hungary for a little bit? Oh, great stuff. Get him 75k. Don't have 75k. Uh, just to clarify, we have zero money. Like... We have 86k here, but we've also got no wage budget and we're already trying to sign a few free transfers. So anyone that has a transfer fee is immediately eliminated. <laughs> That's the thing, yeah. Also, the Messi might even qualify as potentially homegrown to them, maybe. Depends on how long he's spent there. Uh, wait, where's the eligibility? Oh, this is not that, is it? Just do it on here. That's the wrong button map. That's the wrong button map. <laughs> nah, he's full on... Ah, uh, Hungary's continuous as well. You've got to be careful. He is the captain now. Right. Let's just progress a bit and see what happens. With ah, okay, good. 
Somali rejects MTK Budapest. Chat, it's that day. We've just been rejected by an entire country. Um, again, I'm not going to just keep looking up players constantly. We'll it never go anywhere if we keep doing that. Um, Abdogs, thank you for the follow. They don't play matches. You're going to let them play friendlies. Uh, hang on. They don't play friend. They don't play matches. Isn't that kind of the whole point of... What? So why does this squad exist exactly? <laughs> like, wh what is the point of it then if it doesn't play matches? Obviously it would play friendlies, but like... I don't understand the point of having a second team. Cheers, SI. It's so is, there a, is this just like a real life thing where there's just no league for that? Yeah. You just play in the third tier? No third tier league matches? Yeah, but surely FM should still be able to model that in some way. Otherwise, what's the point in having this new feature where they play in these leagues or whatever? That's really annoying. Well, it doesn't matter. I've already set it up for... Um, where is it? I'll play the server all league. Yeah, but your youth team league's not a playable league, is it? You, you can't... Well, technically you could. But my point is that there should still be some kind of like... If they're going to have the team exist in the game, they need to have something there that will allow it to actually function, right? Like the youth teams themselves. I can't play those games technically, can I, I suppose? Well, I'm the Pope. you know what I mean? Cooper, Annoying, but we move. Mini PX, thank you for the follow. Second players in the third tier, which doesn't exist. All players get match rate. Well, that's the thing. That's actually okay then. Um, custom kits. Uh, I have um, custom kits made by the Kit Basher, so I don't need to purchase kits anymore because you can just make them automatically uh, with the... Yeah, <laughs> with Git Basher. Them's not unless you inspect the players, right? Uh, so I, no, the reason I started looking at this was because someone said to me they don't play, and therefore you need to schedule stuff. So let's we're going to do that anyway. Uh, it's where is this option? Here we go. Wait, no. Uh, right, staff match. Here we go. Second team, and I want. Uh, wait, there we go. So I was looking for this drop down here. Wait, that's not under 19s. Wait. Oh, that's annoying. That's very annoying. But Simeo, thank you very much. 32 for months. 32 months. Let's go. Friend. Bloody Bench hell. Still dress intact. size guy, thank you for the follow. Up. Mini P. Well, there's there's no I in it, Mini PX. You see? I'm doing good. It sounds like you're doing very good. Customize a bit deeper. I don't think I can customize a bit deeper than what Kit Basher can do because um, Nine Main makes the kits for me. <laughs> um, so yeah, there's, there's really no reason for anything like that anymore because Nine Main actually makes these kits personally for me because he's an absolute ledge. Right. So hang on a minute. Just to clarify, we don't have the option to automatically schedule friendlies for them either. It won't auto create friendlies because. This only applies to the under-19 team. Basically, the game thinks that because they play in a proper domestic division, that you can't do that. The problem is, it doesn't technically because it's not a playable league, so you're not... Mm, that's a bit annoying. Uh, yeah, if you do the same save file, it will have, like, the same seedings for it, really. That's, um... A bit... So there's nothing we can really do there, really, is there? We just have to kind of oh, accept that that's going to be the case. If We'd have to be careful, basically, with any young players that start to look really good and try to transition them straight from the under-19s to the first team if they're really good, basically. But, like, I, I was going to look around and see if there was any kind of movement towards a third-tier database. Uh, they are playable if you activate the third division. Cool. Uh, let's just activate that third division, shall we? Oh, wait. It's not playable. <laughs> It's not activated. Like, you can't... It's not in the base game, is my point. And there wasn't an extra database knocking about in the pre-game editor. Yeah, but... <laughs> so is the seventh tier, but that doesn't mean that I am a person that can do things like that. <laughs> it's... Yeah. Unless there's a database out there, which as far as I know, there wasn't when I made this save. There's not a lot I can do about that. I'm not the sort of person that has the knowledge to go and do stuff like that. Mm. Right, okay. So these are the guys we're bringing on on trial. Apart from Somalia, because he's not having it, apparently. But we're getting Krastia. Sorry, Krasta. Who's quite a fun player. We'll just keep... We'll do the three weeks. Um, ever get promoted to the second tier. It might be the two-tier gap thing again, I suspect. Shellos is very good. 
probably would want enormous wages though and obviously jaden smith is another was well, a lot of red but then that's to be expected at this level of things right the guy became close why not eh why not how's the database looking for the youtube save uh which database is that if you mean blue star don't expect to see that anytime soon i know there's loads of saves and databases around for that right now but that is just not where my head is currently on youtube right now um like i have a lot of videos i want to make and it ain't those currently like if i started doing a let's play now i basically kiss goodbye to actually having any growth on my youtube channel this year can you get star for the second team yes you can um that's all kind of um uh hang on where am i looking basically yes the short answer is yes uh let's just auto this by thighs freeze then we'll do the annoying meeting besides remember most of our players aren't gonna have to worry so much about the oh fuck Well, looks like we're not getting Joris. <laughs> Basically, the simple fact of the matter is that Let's Plays don't really work on YouTube anymore unless you're a couple of people because that's where the audience is and it's, it's a lot of investment to watch Let's Plays. And I can't grow my channel and my content if I do that every year. It's just simply not uh, viable for me, which is why I'm making different types of content this year, basically. And getting my Let's Play fulfilled over on the Twitchy side of things. Option for assistant to send reports instead of attending. Really? I just ban the meetings in general. <laughs> can you have for a buttercup? I mean, you can, but like, it doesn't matter because he's going to go to PSG. I could literally offer him, not that I'm going to, I could offer him 1500 well, I actually can't now, £1,500 a week, every possible contract bonus possible, and he will still sign for PSG's under-23s. Actually, notably, it's not PSG's under-23s or under-19s that are putting the bid in, as because usually it actually does say that. How do you scout a free player? Usually I don't scout them at all. I just uh, bring them in on trial. Uh, NTK Budapest stuff on YouTube. Yes. So the full VODs will be on the second channel. And I'll be making the recap videos like I did last year for Treaty United as well. But they'll be a little bit more developed because I'll have a bit more time to produce them, which is going to be nice as well. Okay. There's not a lot we can really do about it. Like, we could offer him more, but There's all that means back. is we'll we're not going to get him. He's not going to choose us over PSG. Basically. So hi, VODs. Up the VODs. Uh, Lane it. Thank you for the follow. Uh, yeah, so we'll just have to let that go. Remember, we got the other French dude that we're looking at, to be fair. So that's not too bad. Right, let's, um, before we do anything, check the club vision. Uh, right, so we want to get promoted. Doesn't mention anything about the cups at all, actually. So that's fine. We can ignore that. Yeah. No, we don't, Rob. You can change your name, but I'll always know. I'll have you know, Billy Child. I've progressed one whole day. Thank you very much. Yeah, say hi to YouTube, Chato. You're on the screen. You can do that kind of thing. Uh, right, okay, so we tell them encourage, good, pleased to see, thank you, Miss Shanemeth. Uh, wait, we go straight to promises? I'm not gonna say anything there, because that's just a, that is just a trap. It is just a trap. No, we haven't actually yet, Icarus, that's a good point. Uh, promote the champions this year, yep. It's annoying, but <laughs> technically second place is promotion as well. Let's do code of conduct positive okay fine does that give us a little bump yes we'll take that we've got through it without a problem <laughs> that's the main thing so yeah the other kits for other teams of course they've all got some lovely kits as well these are all custom made by uh no I mean, the kit basher as well which is just fucking fantastic so oh, what about seged oh bit into vibes there don't mind a bit of that too love these bear in mind these are not designed to be realistic in terms of the fact that they're supposed to mimic they're supposed to look like fantasy kits basically that's the idea behind them oh that's kind of poggy actually i love how some of them have got the two and some of them have the three just pick what am i picking oh they are realistic are they really even better then point is they're sick and I imagine the top flight ones are... If we just go back to us. Wait till we get... Oh, that's kind of sick, actually. I'd probably buy that. That feels like something I'd buy off of... Because Bay would send it to me on classic football shirts. Hello, Pogs. How be... You what? Sorry? Oh, you're driving nice in a minute. Speaking of fans, actually. You know, several months ago, um, I bought that enormous, like, 20-inch standing fan that was like a jumbo jet taking off. So last night, he's been on the fritz a little bit lately and that when he started him, he sort of goes and eventually started up. So last night, he caught fire. Um, well, <laughs> oh, this is where I parked my car. <laughs> it didn't catch fire. M Ramsey, right? thank you for the follow. 
he he took ages to speed up <laughs> and then and caught then fire went, and no, shut up and then he went Ooh. and then he went to start up again and then the smell that came from the fan was ridiculous so i the I, smell I, i've never moved so fast of, of fire <laughs> It's it wasn't. It wasn't on fire. Literally, that's it literally where the, sm wasn't the, on fire. the smell. The smell burst into flames. The smell was coming from fire. Yeah, that's how he, it was. No, he, oh my god! It wasn't a fire. <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> Don't get Tell me I'm wrong. Before molesting. There's no smoke without flame. That's not the phrase at all, is it? <laughs> just really, yeah, there was no fire. It was just really hot and yellow and flamey and whatnot. No, it wasn't. And so, yeah. Right, point being. Um, Don't stress me out before the, my lesson. the artist formerly known as Mr. Swizzles the Windy Boy He's was, dead. <laughs> has He's passed dead. away and is no longer with us. Um, truth be told, he was my biggest fan, but after he passed away, I'm so he fan. turns out I was actually his biggest fan the entire time. Uh, so if I could just get a moment for Mr. Swizzles the Windy Boy, um, <laughs> that would be very like sleep easy, Windy Boy. No, he's not dead in the spare room. He's gone to a farm upstate. <laughs> he's gone to the big Dyson factory in the sky. He's gone... I know he's not. He's a what I got from home base. <laughs> he's swizzling in heaven. Thank you. And now to celebrate, Harold Bishop. The minute you get up tight, you're dead. I try not to lose my temper with myself. Oh, for goodness sake and shit and balls. The minute you get up tight, you're dead. Oh, for God's sake, Emmett, not now. Like... What the fuck is going on? <laughs> Emmett, like, we've discussed this. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> Emmett's like, hey, your loved one might have passed away, but remember me, bitches. <laughs> Tuxedo Cyan, thank you for the follow. The thing is, right, the reason it went black, I was a bit confused. So the reason Emmett popped up is because I hit main. Oh, I know what it is. Emmett didn't get turned off. So it didn't turn the scene off, which means that every time I come back to this scene, it's triggered. <laughs> no, I'm frozen. <laughs> This right here, my friends, this is what peak performance looks like. I don't think you understand. This is the male form. I can feel your gaze upon me. <laughs> Emmett's having none of it. Oh, dear. Good God. <laughs> you guys in it. Apparently. Apparently. And to answer your question, Bay, yes, uh, Mr. Swizzles will be cremated. Uh, he tried to cremate himself last night. That's how we ended up in this problem. Mark <laughs> Power. With the 27 He's months. a man whose name you'd love to touch, but you must not, not too, too much. much. His it's name sounds good in your ear, but when you say it, you must not fear, because his name can be said by anyone. You never get these standards from the guy who did the treaty streets. <laughs> oh. So yes, there are some kits for the top flight as well. <laughs> he said slowly, yeah, a bit of self-immolation. Maybe stick to YouTube. Never. Emmett, <laughs> oh, now, thank you, kids. <laughs> I don't know why that came out. Just like, Emmett, not now. Damn it. Oh, God. I blame Mr. Swizzles. I truly do. So they're just checking in on the top flight for a second. They're sponsored by Rubik's. Like that. Debretson. Oh, that's... Oh, does that remind me of? I just those are just really good kits. Is there a Discord channel for kits? I don't know if there is. There's graphics, I suppose, which would count for kits, I I, I guess. Yeah, he's a bit buying. Very buying. I don't know why I didn't click to that, honestly. Measure Kovesh. Oh my god. Long name much. 
Ooh, love that. I love a bit of down the middle half and half. Basel, one of my favorite kits ever. Just Coop. It's very interstellar. Is the other one sponsored by Murph? No. Uh, oh, wow. That's bold. <laughs> it was best just being like, so we're purple. Uh, have you considered purple? Uh, do you have a moment to talk about our Lord and Savior, purple? And obviously, uh, Vashash, who was actually one of the teams we were in for to start this save initially, but obviously they got promoted. Bastards. Yeah, I think it's just a difficult one when it comes to Nightmare being able to find sponsors for all the kits. But it just, it works better this way. Plus we get cool kits for all the teams. Uh, oh, Landing Badgie. Um, I'm afraid I can't sign Landing Badgie. I don't have an airport. This is terrifying. Plus, yeah, that's going to get really annoying though. Well, thank you, Semgas. That's the best compliment I could have received. Because I am a fucking clown. Um, <laughs> I'd like to think you care about me too. <laughs> I am a clown. Right, okay, so what's going on here? They want to sign... I'm actually not opposed to it. Then again, he can play against us. Uh, get some football. We've probably got... We're stacked in that area, so it might as well give him a loan. Uh, we'll, yeah, we'll leave that skip. What we want to do is get to our first... Which is against Werder Bremen. Okay, one thing I am going to do is schedule a couple of games that aren't against Werder Bremen. So we can actually test our tactic. I might cancel... No, we'll get, we'll get a lot of money for that, though, won't we? I'm going to get rid of the Celtic game just because... I'm a closeted Rangers fan. No, um, because I want to put in a friendly here that's not against... Like, I want, might get rid of the Getafe one as well. Particularly, as bear in mind, chat, we need to find the Hungarian equivalent of Shannon. And I think that's extremely important to find. There's Bank. There's Mad. You feeling mad? Does Hungary require playing its own team? Uh, it doesn't, but it does. In the sense that, in real life, no. But we've edited the database so that it does. To make the league harder for ourselves later on. Look over Nat West. <laughs> I'm liking Mad or Bank. And what about the nearby boys? Anyone fun in here? There's Fot. I do like a bit of Fot. Some might say I am a bit of a Fot, honestly. I, do, I don't mind a bit of Fot. It's got to be between Bank, Fot, and... Means Builders. Yeah, but it's not early Shannon. We could have a Fot fetish. I think we're going to have a Fot fetish. <laughs> I think you're right, Stewie. We've suddenly all collectively developed a Fot fetish. got to slap the fot about bear in mind it works though because we have a domination fetish and fot is a uh i don't know my bdsm terms what we're looking for here a sub and they've got more subs this year too so you know and so on and so forth coaching courses we're actually getting elan petrosel not 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 fraught f-o-t although I, I appreciate that it almost certainly isn't pronounced fot but for the purposes of this it is. What changes have we done to the database? So I actually ran through this at the start, but essentially we've got Emmett and Thighs Freeze in as backroom staff. Um, the change... Uh, really? That's, oh, there's obviously the change to the loan rule situation in Hungary to make the league harder for ourselves. And then there's the developed nation state thing. But everything else I think is the same. When you actually load the database into the editor, it will be like 270 changes. It's because things like me editing Emmett's eye colour counts as a change, basically. Our recruitment focus is still bad. Yes. Uh, oh, good God. That's terrifying. That is a lot of play. Right, hang on. First things first. Let's just get that handled. Where's the doff? I don't have a doff, do I? No! Okay, first things first. We're going to get a doff. We need to get a doffy because I am not renewing staff contracts like that. It's just, it's the most tedious thing possible. Uh... Yeah. Do a bit of that. Hey, Jason, how's it going? I'm excellent, my friend. Da yeah, it's Dave Mulcahy here about. Right, let's have a look at Doffy's. Just knock that down instinctively. Wow, there's actually people. Holy shit. Uh, let me just go you came and in summer. Grab. In winter, it can get very depressing. Uh, director of football filter. There we go. Lovely. God, I'm so glad these still work. Alving, thank you for the follow. Oh, okay. Director of football. What I'm mostly interested in is negotiating, although... Oh, it's even better. He's already got a job. 
because that's still busted. Beautiful. Technical director. Sir, I'm offering you to be the technicalist director. Wait, what? I love how director of football comes under scouting. I suppose that does make sense, actually. Longer contract. Get rid of that. Knock that down. There we go. Boom. Have to see if he says yes. Month to month forever. That's a good point, actually. Shira, I hadn't even thought about that. I might just... That's a good point. Yeah. That does seem to be the case. A little bit too unrealistic with that, to be fair. But I think that that's not a bad shout, actually. We might try and do that. Just for the meantime, anyway. Uh, youth contracts, right. Okay, that's... Mm, okay, well, this is going to take us a minute because there's a lot of these guys. Good God. Is there anyone whose contract isn't up next season? Okay, Bent's here. Probably going to go, I suspect. Oh, dear. Father of one of our strikers. No way. Hey, Statlo. Mm. So bear in mind, if you are going to touch the database, as Hadrian says, save it first, then test the rules. It's the only way it works, which is weird. Scouting views into my shortlist, and they wouldn't load. I think it worked on player search. Bear in mind, my scouting views are only for player search. Um, I've never used it on a shortlist page before. I think it uses a slightly different type of view. They're still .fmf files, but there's some slight tweaks. Hello, Pogs. You're back again. Yeah, I'm going now. You're going I'm now? I'm going to fight back fans. There's nothing to fight about. He's no longer with us. Now I've got to wait for his, like... Because all of his assets are his now in... Predecessor. No, all of his assets are now in... I've like, got to go for bloody, um... Like, they're in intestate, or whatever it's called. Pro probate? He had so much. He had nothing. He had us. <laughs> well, what well, 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 in his will. Don't know what you've been doing. He's in my will. <laughs> I'm going to have to pay 40% tax on his assets. <laughs> Who passed away? Um, Mr. Swizzles, the windy boy. Hi, everyone. There is a caca in there, apparently, too. We've also got... Can't forget about Patrick Poor here. <laughs> okay, well, <laughs> I'm going to legitimately need to have a urination before we start digging into this, because I think, otherwise, if I start doing player contracts, I'm literally going to piss myself. <laughs> so, um, fan and wind-related puns. I'll be back in a second, chat. Allow me to PP. Oh, join me in a sec, friends. immediate huge flaming fan of gust poet sensational scenes also someone tweeted me a picture of a fan on fire it's just that's the kind of aggression i could just never understand <laughs> dennis Irwin, queef j <laughs> oh dear. fan of venagor <laughs> oh jesus christ 
Jefferson Fire Fan is unbelievable scenes because it's even on topic. Dean Wind. <laughs> Mr. Swizz Mr. Swizzles was a 20-inch uh, standing fan, Mandar, yes. Uh, he passed away last night by bursting into flames. <laughs> the giant from here with the 13 months. How's it going, friend? I love it when Karen Carpenter sings every sha la 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 every wo oh wo oh still shines dot every shing a ling a ling that they're starting to sing. So fine. So I just tried to turn my headphones up to listen to that a little bit more, and it turned them down because the little wheelie thing in the side of my headphones doesn't seem to know which direction it's facing these days, which is a, which is a shame, you know? Face kicker with the 26 months. How's it going, friendo? Hope you're having a lovely day. Here we go for another one. MTKFTW. Hell yeah. Treadhead as well with the 19 months. All of the resubs all of a sudden. Ooh. Fan of Venegor. <laughs> Morning slash afternoon all. It's lunchtime. I'm hungry and you're doing hungry. When are you doing Ireland? <laughs> when are you doing Ireland? <laughs> never heard of it, mate. Never, never. Bloody hate Ireland, me. <laughs> uh, the database, yes. Um, to be fair, if you need the data, you won't need this database if you're going to do Austria. This database is specific for hungry. Um, so you could just use any database you like to do Austria. The only changes to the database were stuff that specifically affect um, the Hungarian leagues and stuff like that. Embreezy. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, exactly. Mr. Frogger, how's it going, friend? And thank you so much for the two gifted subs. That's very kind of you. We've still got to get into these. Got no fa I've got Pog, maybe. And I've got... A I have replaced him with a tiny shit impersonator who feels like I'm being coughed on by an asthmatic amoeba, but nevertheless does exist. It's just rubbish, aren't you? I could barely even hear you in the night. Much white noise, more like shite noise. Anyway... Cooper. Moving on, before You're I start just me. yelling obscenities at a desk fan. It's always William put a bit. Well, I hope so. Uh, uh, Rafu Jr., thank you very much for the follow. I should probably start extending. So, Nemet, because he's one of our best players, as much as he's one of the older players in the squad, we kind of want to just sort of give him an extension. Even if it's only a year, we might even be able to convince him to drop his wage slightly because he is slightly older. Bit of lurking. Up the lurkers. Sign one. We actually have genuinely he hasn't actually joined us yet i don't think but he's going to we're going to sign this guy ilan petriso because we lost out on the ridiculous guy manquant the actuary <laughs> so we'll talk to his agent i reckon we could drop it hang on you're 33 and you want a contract extension with more money as if Uh, maybe it was a really short contract. That's a bit annoying. Like, you're 33 years old. You know as if I'm going to give you a contract extension oh, yes, a very and a pay bump at that point. Particularly he's already one of the highest paid players. Last big contract chance. Yeah, but it's not really, is it? Like, he, he's not going to be... I reckon he'll retire after this year, honestly. Agent! Sorry, Agent ZQ. Thank you for the phone. Let's just try it. Star play. Yeah, that's going to work so well, isn't it? Like, he will definitely play for us. This is... Wow. Selling... Not a lot of value. Really. Name of my microphone. It is a Shaw SM7B. He's an MTK legend. Yeah, we don't want to, like, piss him off too... Yeah, I literally can't offer him the contract he wants anyway. That's the deal he's currently on. Mm. We've got to respect some of the older chappies. That's a good point, actually. I reckon our new plan with some of the older players is leave them for six months. Yeah, he's got hungry caps. He's got like 30. Leave them for six months and then try to sort them out before they enter that window where they can sign for other teams and stuff like that. Because hopefully we'll be in a slightly better situation. We'll know kind of where our squad's shaping up by then. With some of the younger players, it's an easier one to sort of assess, I would say. It's going to leave him demanding more. That's a good point, yeah. All right. Steve is another one that's 33. These guys are all sort of slightly older. Noj, he might be called Barnabas, but I don't really see a huge amount of quality in his future. Is Kirai in a database? I mean, I presume he's gone into management since, right? Yes, this is the second division. Ashton. You never know. True. Uh, so, again, 
he's our first choice. With any of these guys that are over 30, I think we just leave their contracts for another six months and just sort of see. Patrick Poor is just not that good. Yeah, particularly not as a centre back. He's third choice. Hmm. See you later, Tom. He's poor. He literally. Okay, so someone like here, Clinton Osai. There's a bit more to him, and he's not on huge amounts of money. He's Ghanaian as well. Hmm. Nico, thank you for the follow. He is third choice out of the three, but you definitely need a little bit more. We're gonna have to find another centre back. Does he not have an agent? No. Oh, okay. this isn't where I park my car. That could actually benefit us potentially. So he's four seven five at the moment. Breakthrough prospect. I mean, you're a third tier player at best. Get us on future prospect. Okay, that might help a little bit. He started his own team. I like that. It's pro. It's full on like you see this. I open my own hotel. Matteo Ballo. I think we do have him. So he wants a little wage bump, but actually. Truth be told, I don't think he's getting Ghana caps. It's a this is one of these ones that's a bit of a risk, but I just for me, like, look how much he wants after getting a certain amount of league games for us. I'd rather parlay some of that into a Ghana cap at like that. Just to try to keep him on. There we go. That way we get to keep him on his basically his same wages, but get an extension. And we can deal with him later. Um nah, he, he's someone we do want to keep. Mate Christian Kovac. He's definitely sticking around. Because it's a picture, which is always nice, isn't it? He isn't getting any Ghana caps. Exactly. Then again, sometimes with certain African nations, you can often get caught where they'll just randomly, after a few seasons, run out of good players in a certain position, and you will get some really random call-ups, to be fair. There's no Hungarian TTS, no. It does. Um, like, <laughs> capitalism. What a name. Yeah, I think it does make it less effective, which is why I always use one. There are certain scenarios where, generally speaking, if they've got like one cap, but I still am unsure. The reason I use five and ten is, generally speaking, if I'm finding a player that's like 29 to 30 years old, they're later in their career, but they've got like one cap, and it feels like they're unlikely to get any more, then five and ten are so useful in those scenarios because it sort of has the same effect then. Garner's probably okay. Yeah, so this guy, again, no agent. Four, seven, five. So, yeah, Saz skin is, is genuinely fantastic. I need to make a video. I might make a video about that tomorrow, actually. Uh, that was easy. Yeah, they want that little bump. They, wow, they really do want a lot here, though. It's like because they don't have an agent, they go for the same basic contract. Which makes me wonder if actually... We can take the piss a little bit more than I was before. Let me just try and knock his wage down slightly this time. Yeah, okay. We're just going to edge our way to the world to the correct direction. So we'll actually be on less money. <laughs> Good doing business with you, uh, Mate. Uh, we've got... I realise that their name probably isn't pronounced like this, but when I see a person and they're called Gurgly, I'm not going to not call them Gurgly. It's just the way of life. 21-year-old um, left back. Good for backup. On relatively low money as well. Probably need to get him in, right? He'll probably want the exact... He's got not got an agent either. But he... Idolizes Arturo Vidal. What? I don't think I've seen that before. He idolizes Arturo Vidal. Is this new? I genuinely don't think I've ever seen a favored personnel idol before. He's literally... In, I mean, to be fair, I don't blame him. He's a sexy man. It's off the table. Oh, it's off the table for like, we're not talking weeks here. Oh, we're talking months. Um. It's no longer even really a question of databases. Um, let me just fix my camera again. <laughs> we got through so many streams without having any camera issues. And yet today it's like, ha hmm. Yeah, I don't think I've ever seen an idol before, but that's fine. Let's uh, try and give you a new contract. So you're on what? 350. And breakthrough prospect. I might as well try and knock him down one notch anyway. Four to five. All right. Yeah, it's look, they want the exact same. It's like the game has a set of defaults that it goes to when they don't have an agent. But I still think it's better than them having an agent because they probably demand more. Uh, again, you're Hungarian, so we can probably get away with the same kind of deal that we offer to your friendo. In fact, maybe even a bit of that. 
Yeah, okay. We're actually going to save ourselves some money. Tell YouTube the bad news. Um, well, it's not really... There's no, to be fair, I never said it was going to... I never said when it was going to start. So there's no bad news to break, really. Baconator, thank you for the follow. And Chikitu, thank you as well. Like, the cook of a time when it does start. As with Teddy Sheringham. Interesting. Maybe just one of those things I just missed all of the players that did happen to have that. Toroshik... He may not have the highest level of potential, but I do kind of like his base attributes. And it's the same kind of thing, isn't it, right? Oh, hang on. What's he on at the moment? Let me guess. 350? Yeah, okay. That's fine. We can do the same thing with him. Although, maybe take the piss a little bit further. So, it's only going to save us a little bit of money. Whoa, okay. Interesting. He wants a tiny bit more that time. Maybe he's, maybe he's a better negotiator. Uh, one game will give you, like, a bit of that. Oh, okay. Feisty one. Joe Thompson, thank you for the follow. What happens when you get deep in regen, world? Uh, how do you mean? <laughs> I get lost in it. I get lost in their eyes. Oh, I see what you mean. Yeah, you're probably right. The reason I haven't seen it that much is probably because with me managing almost exclusively regens most of the time, I'm probably unlikely to encounter it very often. Is it going to go for that? Yeah, we go. Okay, that's 350. Keeps on his current wage. These guys aren't making internationals. What about Kaka? Who's... Uh, Obviously Ghanaian. Man just called God Godword. No, no, not God's word. God words. Like Bible and Pew and Well, I won't say what I was gonna say. <laughs> Amadome. God words Amadome. Beautiful Good. stuff. Do not hate me. Yeah, he means business. This God words. Am is Kaka one of God words? <laughs> Shocker Rudy, thank you for the follow. Love that. Why would you be called Kaka when you could be called God words? I, I love that it's God words and not God's word. <laughs> Superb. Well, for that alone, honestly, my friend, you've earned a new contract. It is. It is decided. Oh. Ah, and he wants a bit less, which is perfect, which means I can probably stiff him on this. And you want to be careful when you're stiffing God, God words. I kind of want to rename him. Like, it, it's God words. Um, I'm trying to think of a Bible verse, but then why would I know any Bible verses off the top of my head? Uh, now I'm thinking of the theme tune of the Vicar of Dibley. This song's much louder than all the others. I do love it, but like, be quiet. John, Austin 316. <laughs> um, Jesus wept. <laughs> Actually, gonna be. Hang on, I'm, he's like I love God word. I do. Oh, God, I knew God's power tower was gonna be happening. But imagine if that was God powers tower. This is my point. Well, that should be enough. Yeah, that'll be good. That'll be good. He'll take that for the moment. SK McNally. Thank you for the follow. Right, I mean, I'm sure I've missed a couple of lookups in the last 20 minutes. Oh, I did. My apologies. Owen Gom. The other of the uh, ridiculous players that probably won't sign for us. But we did sign for my Dundee United team. So, you know, I'm saying there's a chance. Uh, yeah, I can't afford him. Good to know that he exists, but we can't afford him. Because he costs money. <laughs> Hopefully he's in the database. I see no way that he wouldn't be in the database. There he is. There's another guy. And he's a free agent. You know where this is going. Ah, he's actually in the database, Baz. I don't know if he's any good or not, because obviously I can't scout him, but he does exist. I'm more interested in the other god's power. Nigerian Keeper, he won't talk to us. You're a free agent. How's Colin Whelan doing? I, well, he's, is he UCD? I forget where Colin Whelan goes. Uh, right, let me go back to what I was doing because I want to change your name to what it should be, which is Godwords. It's Godwords. I'm, oh, that's so much better. I've always thought it God, God's power iguana would be extraordinary. Uh, we've got Asante Quadwo. Just checking Asante. I thought he might have been called like, I don't know. He's, he's a brand new player, but he's only got one year on his... Has he not got an extension? Aha! 
Oh, it literally says it there. Why was I not paying attention? You're another four-star guy as well. So you will... 6-2. He's okay. What's the budget? The budget is none. Uh, we basically don't have a budget. We've got budget. Basically, our budget is if they're free, maybe we can push it. <laughs> literally. <laughs> Boss. Best disciples. Technically, Medi. I'm one of the disciples. We're all disciples of God's words. Got name players at the club. Um, I think I find that that is a good point. There is a lot of Ghanaian players, but I noticed that in certain nations, there tends to be clusters of certain players of other nationalities. It might be that Ghana is one of the nations that's treated as non-EU. We haven't read in Liverpool yet because we haven't got the report through. It's just easier to wait for the scout report that brings through all the Liverpool players that you can access rather than trying to go individually because then you just get rebuffed a lot of the time. Plus, I find that sometimes if you go too early in the window, they say no when they would have said yes later on. Odd. That's true, yeah. Of course, MTK was, I believe, founded by... Um, wasn't it founded by, like, um, the Zionist uh, Association in Budapest at the time? I believe that's what um, Jonathan Mawson said in this book. Really interesting book. Yeah, the club vision is promotion as champions as well, uh, which makes sense. We are probably one of the best sides in the league, if not worth one to two favourites for promotion. I don't think I need to give him too much, honestly. I might even try and bump his contract a little bit like that. Yeah, that's fine. What was he on before? I think I've still... Oh, no, I've actually given him a drop. Um, Balog... I think it's probably not going to be much for him there. And same with possibly for actually oh no nine jumping reach we'll revisit him later what's the book called it's called uh the, the names heard long ago hey andrews god so it could be didn't for dundee and it's the same league setup i think it is slightly different but i mean to be fair i'm not going to keep looking up players anyway because um no he's not i wonder why though that's kind of annoying right so that cancelled that's friendly budapest emptied in gom well, I mean, I'm interested in the same way I'm interested in Lionel Me Oh, yeah. Uh, oopsie. Right, so. Oh, that low composure is a concern, but he's quick. And we'll get him immediately. I'm just going to use our advanced forward as a base for the moment. Uh, wait, what? Oh, um, you're not in the under-19 team, my friend. And I want him on final third. Actually, wait. Does attacking movement hit that as well? I can never remember. No. Okay, we want final third then. Uh, the skin is exclamation mark skin, uh, Dan, or da. You'll uh, find a link to it there. He, for me, is great. So... In Hungary itself, it depends on what league you're playing in. But top flight is really lax. Second tier is a lot more um, strict, but it's still okay. Okay, good. So that's him in. We've signed a player. And we get to slap thought about. Look, ready chat? I'm going to do it. I'm going to press Fiona! that. Yeah, and now we can potentially sell him for money as well. Exactly. Varanks, thank for, for, <laughs> thanks for the follow. Don't know why I struggled there. He's going to press it. Okay, hang on. One sec. Anti-climax. Oh, for fuck's sake! <laughs> ah, there we go. That'll do. Oh, he's rubbish. Should be considered for the following matches. I'm sure he is available, but, like, I'm available too. I wanted to sign God's power in Guana, but here we go. Patrick Poor's injured. He's concussed. God, not only is he poor now, but he's also concussed. Oil up Fotty, we're coming in. I might just go with the default, not the default tactic, but the tactic I built without actually looking at the team before we go to the Werder Bremen game, just to see what the team line up like, because that's not really a game that we can learn that much from, because they're a much better side than us. Okay, new contract's good. Panache ends of contract. Chat, would I be stupid if I signed Panache for MTK Budapest? I don't feel like it. I feel like Panache is almost a plus. You are stupid, but this is stupid. Shut up, Rob. This is true. No matter what you were going to say, 
I was going to do it. Oh, maybe not. Actually, really? Oh, let me adjust the budget now. He's got caps, right? He always has caps. Or rather, he gets caps immediately. What your heart desires. Good point, yes. Sell on fee percentage. I reckon I can negotiate this a little bit. I'm not going to do an international wage clause because Panache does get caps. With this one, it's going to be more a case of just flat out arguing. Or not. Well, that's the thing. We've got a lot of older players, so it makes sense for us to start trying to find a few guys like this. Okay, we're going to get... Oh, that's the loan play. I swear Panache cost me like two grand a week to sign for Dundee United. <laughs> Yet here I am signing for 600. Was already international wage clause in there? I'm a fucking moron. <laughs> What's there really? <laughs> Good point. It's not that bad, to be fair. Could have been a lot worse. Uh, Zugiba. Mm. I'll reject that for now. I'd rather be Well, I've heard it's a lovely place. Recruitment meeting. Absolutely fucking not. <laughs> Absolutely. What? Change this offer. No, no. I don't want to actually... Oh, for God's sake. Really? I have to now just suggest terms. Thanks for that. Cheers, FM. Surely if I don't change anything and I exit the screen, it shouldn't require me to actually... All right. <laughs> right. It's a match. Chat, we're doing a match. We'll just go with this one for now. We can adjust on the fly. Oh. I think the first adjustment on the fly would be the deep line playmaker, right? <laughs> Regista? No, surely not. Oh, it couldn't. No, no, it has to be deep line. Or does it? Run from position. Wait, why is he saying he's bad as a Regista when he's not? We need a playmaker. Hang on. Regista's... Is he actually as a register? Other than his dribbling, he's actually a pretty good register. Whole board of most oh, motorsport games is basically a scam. There's no way that that game was ever going to come out, Trucker. Unfortunately, I had no hope the moment I saw that they were involved. Look how they handled the NASCAR game. Hey, Murph. Hmm. I think a Regista would be a good... I just don't want to play a, 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 a roaming playmaker because the, they will take such a nerf from it that I don't think it's worth it for us. We've got lots of good wingers. We've got Kata there. We've got Varju. Hang on, Varju. Isn't he the centre-back? Oh, yeah. He's the wing-back that can't wing-back. I wonder if actually flipping this over makes more sense because I like to have asymmetry. I like to have asymmetry. Did I actually set that the right... Yeah out of these but our left back is a much better wing back so it makes more sense to have him be the attacking one and vice versa let me just see if that changes anything no that's fine okay Nodge at the back yeah exactly Vardu cannot cross I'd rather him just be a normal wing back if we can that's default for us that's kind of we can adjust things on the fly I haven't missed much Raz really we're just gonna hang on is our new man actually here can I start him immediately I kind of want to give Petroso a run out here immediately, just because why the hell not? Bognar's the one who's an enganch. Yeah. What I would say is we could switch him to be an enganche and then change this role so it's slightly different, but you do need a sort of playmaker. We don't need a playmaker, but you know. Ooh. That feels like we have to do inverted wingbacks against them at some point. But besides, it's Werder Bremen. We're not going to learn too much from this game anyway. I don't think I want an Unganshi and an RPM in the same system. Particularly if we just turn the RPM off. Hey, Leaf. We're not going to learn much from this game anyway because the I think the quality of opposition is too good for us to learn too much. Oh, okay. They actually liked that. Wow. Okay. This is where it just cuts to um Thomas the Tank Engine music again. Oh, did I not put Mammoth on the bench? Shit. <laughs> right, MPH. We'll do it. We'll have a nice bit of miles per hour. As both of them looks unbelievable. Uh, true, but like, you know, I don't want to just copy other people's systems. That seems a bit pointless. Uh, let's do TV. I mean, to be fair, everything's derivative of something, but 
I like to try and build things based on what we see. Extended highlights, we want key highlights, we want... Sounds off, presumably. I love that at least sound and music are different. Uh, replay... Yeah, I love it. Is that always like that? Okay, that should be fine. There we go. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Oh, the skin has got so many good features about it. Yeah, I, mean, I don't know what's going on here. It looks like some kind of office building. Capraza 1 0 up now. Well, that is a good sign, honestly. Genuinely, that is a good thing to know. I really think that no matter what happens this season, Petroso is going to be our savior in many ways. Stadium packs are facing all downloaded from the, uh, from the skin link. Do we need to download all items for it to work? No, no. So it depends on what current packs you have, Big Da. So uh, it's Ricky Nemin. Hang on. Nemisio. Thank you for the follow. If you have like, a, say you already have a face pack imported. If you imported a second face pack, they would clash. You can only have one of each, if that makes sense. It's very brutalist, yeah. And that's the condo. I'm saying, ah, oh, come on. I'm Luba Mihov. Luba Mihov's, he's on three grand a week. He's doing fine. Hello, Marius. How's it going? We've actually looked all right so far. Albeit only 19 minutes in, but... We've still got to pay attention to the inevitable chaos that will happen in the defensive zone every time a team gets the ball. Nice. What? Was clearly impeding him? Okay, good. Good to see those are given us penalties. Fucking hell. You can't stop a duck. Don't make me call Gideon, Mr. Duck-sh. Yeah, impeding... That's literally his job. Um. Yeah, it's uh, Saz 23.5 is the current skin. Wins ball gets run into penalty. Yep. Can you show his attributes? I... You know what? Yes. <laughs> to distract myself. <laughs> These are his attributes. <sighs> I mean, he's, he's good. I like him. Uh, we are, of course, about to concede here. What's all is this? This is just mid, like, um, this is just a preseason friendly. But doesn't matter. Still getting fucked in it. She's just lovely. Thousands of months of Mihov's, Mihov's doing all right. Yeah, he's on three point one k. I was surprised they put him on so much, and that's a, yeah, that's a goal. Well, that's that's fine. It, it happens, right? Hopefully, the refereeing in the league will be better. He said, copying, copy, copy, copium. Uh, that's a courage. Money for the club. I, that doesn't really work anymore from what I remember. That used to be a thing that you could like really game the system and get loads of money, but there you go. Hey, Steven. Enjoy the new FF. Um, there's things I like about it and there's things I don't like about it. Uh, things I like about it. I actually think the match engine, ignoring the fact that this has just happened, that happens sometimes. I actually like a lot of the chaos that you get with it. Things I don't like are the fucking recruitment focuses. <laughs> Matteo Bello. I don't think he, we actually do have him, do we? Because I don't remember seeing him. We're just going to learn so little from this match against... The problem when you're building a new tactic out is that um, games against teams like World of Bremen are so unhelpful. We want to be playing slightly weaker sides to get a chance to understand what we're going to be like in possession and actually creatively. This will maybe tell us how good we are defensively, I suppose. So say we only lose this 1-0 and it's that stupid penalty. I'd actually be all right with that. Bro, the whistle for favour of Ferris Farrell. Oh, come on! Oh, defenders! Uh, maybe in the YouTube. I'll have a look in a sec. I suffered a bruise for, for Bognar. Okay, good. Just tick, kicks it in front of him. Scouting has become worse. Uh, yes. Um, I think they're moving. They've almost implemented half a scouting system. It feels like they're moving towards something and they went, you know what, instead of waiting and waiting until it's done, we'll just implement half of it. But also break everything else. It's just, yeah. Not a fan at all. Right, we need to make that change immediately. Wait, is that two injuries we've had in the first half? No, not the first half, sorry. The. Oh, wait, so he's been substitute. Did I just have to sub a sub, or is that just. Subbed off in the 60. Am I missing something? Hang on. So.
you were subbed on in the 53rd minute and you were subbed off in the 60th minute. But if you were subbed off, why are you still displaying as being on the pitch? Is he actually the one on the pitch? What's going on here? Is this a glitch? I'm trying to work out who's actually on the pitch and who isn't. Uh, this has to be like a visual glitch, right? We're going to get too many men on the ice, chat. Changes have been made. Oh, uh, that's a good point. Uh... Sure about that? Let's just let this progress for a second. Hmm. Open tactics. Yeah, it says he's still on the pitch, but... Maybe we're just waiting for a break in play. As we can see, another goal for Oliver Burke. How long would you think it would make fullest out of a player? I, it depends on the player. It can depend on all sorts of factors because it depends on what the play, where the player plays, how, what your knowledge of that is. Um, what season are we? Uh, this is literally the first game we've played of the entire save. Let's let this get out of this first. So hopefully they can make the change now, right? So that presumably has now made the change, yeah? No, nope, he's still on the pitch. <laughs> they must have had... That's literally a break in play where they would have made the substitution. Yeah, it's the second tier side. Feels more realistic. Um, I, I, for me, I don't find it realistic that if I tell my scouts to find me some players for loan, they recommend me a load of players that are either A, already on loan at other clubs, and they were the entire time, and B, players that you, when you approach to go for loan are not allowed to go on loan to you. Stuff like that is just fucking asinine and broken. So, why are we playing Bremen? Uh, it was a preseason friendly. Click the RW on the pitch. There he is. He's still on the pitch. But he's been substituted. But he's not come off the pitch. Also, our strikers had a terrible day. Let's get um, Jaden Smith on for the meantime. Sometimes it just randomly fixes itself. But we are going to have to let that... Uh, let me make a couple more subs. Not sure they're going to produce... The, the problem with the recruitment focus is that they don't produce players most of the time. Um, it feels like it's on rails. So no matter what you do, you're going to get the same results, basically. Hello! Petrosos through. Oh, he's off the bar. That's close. My, actually, my point is, I actually think for certain newer players, the recruitment focus thing and the new scouting method actually probably does work. But I don't understand why they would implement things that break things that are somewhat more complicated, perhaps. Basically, why not introduce a method that is good and better for newer players, but also keep stuff that people that actually have played the game for 10 years and quite enjoy like as well. I don't know why that everything has to be reduced in... Really like the near misses at it. Indeed, so did I. Except most of the time, you don't get any of them. <laughs> That's the problem. To me, near misses should be quite a large group of players. But most of the time when I've set up recruitment focuses, I don't... One, I don't get any a lot of the time. And two, when I do, it's like one guy. It's like... Are you telling me that there was more players that fit the requirements than those that didn't? It, just stuff like that is just a little bit odd to me. I see they work. They don't. Um, it's just... Yeah... It, it just baffles me. Like, obviously, you're not going to get perfect stuff every single time, of course. But I hate anything that leaves things up to random RNG. I just, I will not be using it, basically. It's utterly pointless. Uh, it's so much worse than I thought it was going to be as well, which is what really makes me sad. Uh, are we still going on the pitch? Yeah, I can't sub... Hang on, what? Now the game's like... Fancy another sub. Tommy, thank you very much for the six months. That's very kind of you, my friend. Started MTK save with nice. the database file, and despite the fact we can only have three non-EU players in the second tier, my scouts keep suggesting me old man Brazilians. There you go. Jade Aon. It's Jade <laughs> Playing in places I can scout. But my point is that you shouldn't have to have every single league in the game available switched on, thus ruining your save, in order to have a feature of the game that is so unbelievably important work how it's supposed to, I suppose. <laughs> We've scored a goal. We've scored a goal. Mamalam, thank you for the follow. Wobbled passes. I, I do find that defenders' first touches are incredibly unpredictable, which is one of the reasons I felt that pressing centre-backs is super important this year, I think. Other players are interested in requested scout reports. Really? Uh, that sh is that the default skin, Danny? That was a really nice piece of play, actually. 
Like, I can harp on the things like... You know what, right? Considering... I know we lost 3-1. This is Werder Bremen, and one of their goals was a penalty, which was a bullshit penalty, by the way. That's not a bad attacking output. From, I know that obviously a lot of our attacking output was the last goal, but that's not awful. The defenders being bad at defending is definitely a slight problem. I'm still going to thrash arms at them just because you kind of have to, don't you? But yeah. Hmm. Uh... Okay, there are only minor injuries, thankfully. We can rotate for the next game anyway. It's against Pushkin. That's going to be a better test. I don't think I want to really change anything because there's nothing much we can really learn from that game anyway. We'll learn a lot more from games like this one against uh, Solnoki, who are what tier? Yeah, lower league. That's going to be perfect for us. Except for match engine analysis. Honestly, there's some things about the match engine that are emphatically worse, like defending and goalkeepers. But there's a lot of stuff that is liked. Any improvements? Uh... Do you know if there's a train coming anytime soon? Oh, yes. Very soon. They are building it now. Things I like that are weren't present last year. I don't mind the dodgy touches and chaos. It's just it's too often. It's you... Every, like, top-level Champions League matches look like know, Sunday League games all the time. Oh, yes. Thank you for soon. the follow. And unrecommendable. <laughs> Welcome in, friend. Yeah, so he was always going to join PSG for literally insane amounts. That was never going to happen for us. A Vampire Survivors enjoy? I am. Solstice Survivors, yeah. I saw... Um, oh, God, who was it? I think it was Northern Lion playing it. Maybe. Or is it Frosty? It might be Frost Prime, actually. Paint me a word picture, Bagpus. I do like me some Vampire Survivors. Quality game. It's a really good podcast game. Um, right. Yeah, well, I'll discuss that in a sec. This will be a better idea. Size, what to do in the room. Uh, it depends what we're doing. Like, for example, right now I'm working, so I'm the one that decided to do that. <laughs> yeah, massive ballot. Let's just look this up, because... Bring on the Flugelkampfheimler! Is this the chap you're all about? 17-year-old target forward. Luckily, he's got a bit more on his deal there as well. Lucky sure! Thank you for the follow. Designing or adding things? Well, I mean, yeah. Um... It's a bit of both, I suppose. Do you think it's better that there isn't scouting percentages? Um, Technically, though, this is, this is the thing. There is still scouting percentages. It's just instead of seeing the scouting percentage, you're just getting a vague word instead that is still correlated to a scouting percentage under the hood. It's just it's kind of like when Rocket League went from showing you how many players are in a respective playlist to just saying, good, great. I hate fake ambiguity for no reason. Like... If I have this information, tell me the information. <laughs> like, oh, okay, we're actually getting the doff. That's really good news. It just feels like the system was just made more vague and ambiguous, but in a way that's like not, it's, it's arbitrary obstacles. And you know, I cannot stand arbitrary obstacles in games. Uh, I've already looked up and gone. He's not available, unfortunately. Fabio da Silva. Oh no, please don't tell me he's like 40. 50% stream. I'm, do I'm doing my best, all right? Um, slight problem in that Fabio da Silva might as well be called Smith. Wait, hang on. Wait, wait, which one am I looking for? Wait, the top one. The 31-year-old Brazilian at Nol. Ah, he's still younger than me. <laughs> I'm just there to fuck with you, James. That's what it is. The condition heart, I kind of got used to, but stuff to do with scouting is, is just, I don't know. Seth, thank you very much for the se the seven. For, got the <laughs> sound stuck in my throat there. Thank you very much for the four months. That's super kind of you. It's usually a couple of hours it takes donkeys. I, I, what it is, when it comes to things, because at the end of the day, as much as F I, S F I, S I can claim that it's a simulation, it is a game and people play it for fun. So to me... I find it irksome when features and stuff are introduced that are basically busy work that don't have any effect on the enjoyment of the game other than a negative one, generally speaking, and are just there as roadblocks between you and having a nice time. <laughs> and it feels like some of this scouting stuff is just... It's like it's trying to funnel you to using a type of scouting that is ineffective. It's... And, yeah... Just got Gala. Okay, it's only Gala under 21. We're fine. His brother's gone back to Brazil. Really? 
Channel VIP. Um, so yes, it's the little um heart. Sorry, the little heart, the little diamond. If you look next to Marius and Brazio's name, you'll see a little diamond. It does actually have some perks that come with it. Uh, things like you can bypass the spam filter. So when it, you know, there's like a limit on how many messages you can send in certain periods of time. It bypasses things like that. It also, I believe, allows things like auto mod to not trigger things you say in chat and whatnot. <laughs> Do you want to block to me in a nice time? It's my bloody wife. Hey, leave Mrs. Harv out of this. She's a good lady. Uh, okay, new deals for you, which is good. Uh, as Maris is now demonstrating. Hey, Hazy. Top Gear and Freddy doing the mental F1. Uh, no, because I think I haven't watched Top Gear in about... Literally since, since it ended, if you like. <laughs> the, yeah, you also get... Fi you, you get foot picks, but you also get thought picks. What does this stand for? Fotsy. If you see me moving my legs rather vigorously under the table, chat, worry not. I'm just playing Fotsy under the table. Love a bit of that. Uh, do they really need to schedule three friendlies in the same week there? It's a city outside Budapest. I can't wait to go there. Players were right. I think the players are pretty solid, actually. For the league they're in, anyway. Yeah, 20, I don't know if I could even give him that. <laughs> Many with a gifted sub to Maris. Thank you so much, man. Super kind of you. Even fought football is just called ball. <laughs> Going outside for a bit of ball. All the signs just like, no ball games. Wait, that, that just works, doesn't it? So Asai's got a new contract. New contract. Scouting finished. On who? Oh, God. Hang on a minute. One sec. Forgot about this. Uh, also, we're getting rid of these. I don't want any of this shit because it's just going to bog us down. Forty shots against him like it happens every physical. Yeah, exactly. It's it's one of those things where they'll use a, a really small example of something that happened one time in a five-year span in the entire world of football and be like, hey, this is why this should happen to you three times a season. No fought games. What was I actually doing? Oh, yeah. I was going to set up my scouting um, this shit because I don't want anything. Oh, no. What am I doing? I don't want anything coming into my inbox specifically. It's a pain. In the next JG. decade, Thank when we win the CL, money. I can say and tell my children that I was here when the save was vision was created less than three. Precisely. Less than four. <laughs> and others. Uh, wait. No, that's fine. Scout player. I want trial to be three weeks by default. I want advanced filters and I want... Started scouting a player off. Yeah. <laughs> Gotta turn that one off. <laughs> It cannot exist. Uh, right, who are you? Oh, these are the youngsters that was... Holy shit. Problem with a player like this is that they would cost money and we don't have money. Take over existing. No agent. Yeah, they're just simply not players that we could even... Next year, perhaps. Wow, you're just not as good as I expected. Is he even... Why does it always default to the wrong role? Not that it makes any difference. He's, yeah. I suspect that we're going to get better players from Liverpool once we actually get our, uh, ooh. He might be a worthwhile, can we, can we loan him? That's not actually that bad. What are we doing for loan? Mm. He, I might actually do that loan. We're a bit light at the right back spot, particularly as we're going to get a load of free, the fuck? Set up a recruitment team. Yeah, sod off. <laughs> just, just no. Uh, most of this is going to be... Oh, good. Look, this is what I mean. Look, Brazilian. Like, bear in mind, we're in a league that has a very specific set of rules about non-EU players. And yet, American, Brazilian. Uh, admittedly, a lot of these are agent offers, I suspect. Yeah, so, unfortunately, there's not a lot we can do with a lot of these guys. And they're all in their late 30s, except for this chappy. Who is Moses Jarju? Where's Booty? Still at Maidstone. Hi! Marking. Look at the aggr Tackling. Passing of 11. On an 18-year-old from the Gambia. The place for Fortune FC. Whose fortune is it really? He won a fair amount of money, but... 
How many dual national? Do I have a dual nationality? Um, I suppose if you count Scottish and English. <laughs> Shit, I forgot to. Damn it. I forgot to do the thing where you drop, get them to drop the contract negotiations. Regular starter. Stepping stone? No. It's a free transfer. Now, oh, wait a minute. We don't need any transfer budget because we're not signing players on cost contracts anyway. Hmm. We're talking. Unfortunately, um, Booty, it, he's there. He's in the database, but we can't afford him because he would cost like 80 grand. That's the problem. Six heading. Do you only have six heading? Am I mistaking something here? Ah. Ah. Aerial training. I feel like there's value in him on a free transfer, if nothing else. Even oh, a one year deal, though. Fuck that. Here's a fun I don't fact. Know if he's gonna go Volterra this. contracted syphilis just two blocks from here. <sighs> okay, that's fine. We can work with this. Jordan Gold, thank you for the follow. As a DM, but bear in mind we do need DMs because this system does have DMs built into it instead. He's not very patient. For 11k in Ukraine, hmm. what was he like? I could do a cheeky one of these and not overblow it. Oh, just so he's got a little incentive on top. Car. There we go. That's not too bad. The player is not me. I don't know. I answer the questions I am asked. Fud, thank you for the follow. Fud? Feudal, maybe? Let me know. But thank you for the follow. Okay. Right, recruitment focus update. All selected focuses have been removed. How you like to see it. <laughs> Hello, Dan. How's it going? Oh, okay. So we're getting Yentl. I will end up calling him Lentil. That's fine. Uh, Yentl van Genechen. Genechten? Love that. Much better as a D. Yeah. But the fact that he can do both is just kind of useful. Right, okay. Let's play. Wait, we're playing against Zelega Shaggy. Uh, okay. We'll start Nemet through the middle this time. Uh, what on earth? Craster there. Isn't Craster the... I guess they want to rush it around a little bit. Steeber. That's Kovats. Sell us. Fuck it. We'll just... Try. I st uh, do. I want to give him another go. Has a Lego Segi a top flight side? Yes. Okay. So this could be quite a tough game. This is going to be an interesting one, actually. I don't want to have too many of the trialies in the team, though, if I can avoid it. Like, I want to get an eye on them, but I also want to build up match fitness of people we are actually going to have in the team. Uh, like Lahokshi. And maybe not Selos will do. Palinch Shark can play that? Okay. God, no, no Garnant show mentions. We already looked him up once. I was having a bad day already, and it was made it infinitely worse by that. Like, I'm a level with you, chat, for a second, if I could. Um, I think I probably could have started this save on Sunday if I if I pushed it a little bit. But late last week, I could feel something building in me that I did not like. And I know that I was active in the Discord on Sunday, and I was talking about doing stuff for the save. And I, I was, to an extent. I could barely get out of bed on Sunday, honestly. Um, it was one of those days where I felt like... I, I, it's hard to explain. I had... I just wanted to make you... <laughs> you feel like a shit now, don't you, Half? Um, I just having one of those days, but it happens more often than it should. I, I think when... I, I'd been doing content and stuff like six, six, seven days a week since the start of the pandemic, basically, with a few little breaks here and there, but small ones. And taking that little bit of time off where I went to London with SI oh, and saw the creators and then I went on holiday with Pog for a bit. Um, it was like stepping out of a moving car. And it can be very difficult to step back into things like cars. Uh, or, or just like stepping back onto something that's moving. And that I was finding that quite difficult. And yeah, it was just... I was just having a bit of a shit time. I don't know why. It's just... Uh, it's... It was tough. That's why I didn't stream on Sunday. Because I was like legitimately don't think I could have got out of bed. I did get out of bed because I had to do a few little bits and bobs. But it was one of those days where I just... Oh. It's not... I wouldn't wish it on people. Let's put that way. You almost feel like you're mourning something, but nothing's happened. The way you feel after... Like a couple of days after something horrible's happened. It was like that, but without the causational event, if you like. Um, but, yeah. It's, it's the only way I can really describe it. It was not very nice. Uh, I don't want to bring the tone of the stream down. Um, I guess I'm just trying to make the point that everyone can have bad days, you know? It wasn't even bad days, it was a bad time. I suppose. Zaffa and late crabitalism. Thank you very much for the follows. 
Oh dear. It's not that, no, there's no pressure to stream, and I know you guys aren't like that at all, but the problem it's it's my livelihood at the end of the day. And I always have to be careful with that. That's why, you know with the way I'm doing YouTube at the moment, it's I feel like it can be very good for me, but at the same time it's also gonna be quite a, a risk a lot of the time, with every video being like its own thing. It's it's difficult, but I feel like this is the only way I can grow, you know? It's a toughie. Uh, a bit of yoga. Don't mind if I do. It's always going to be Hulk yoga because I feel like my yoga button's broken. Ooh. I need to get back into the running. You know? Oh. That's why I'm, I, I feel a lot better today having done this, to be honest. Like, just chatting to you lot and... Um, do the job whilst... Oh, I, believe me, I can do my job whilst feeling down. I was feeling pretty gash yesterday as well honestly but i knew that shit had to be done and i feel like i'm one of those people that's motivated by consequences if that makes sense um yeah there's an element of seasonal effectiveness as well like when i'm in particularly when it's days when i'm recording and stuff when this whole room is very dark a lot of the time um when it's in the castle floor, oh god <laughs> depress ah oh dear it's things like that as well like you know I have to prioritize my so job and being able to keep doing it as a job, you know. Handsome cop, thank you very Nintendo much for the follow. And have a lick me yarbles. It's only time around people just chatting. It really is that. It's great. It's great for the soul. I always feel better after a stream. Generally speaking, I always feel better after a stream. Very rarely do I come out of a stream feeling worse than I went when I went when I went in. And that's usually only if we've had like an absolute wemp in chat or something like that. And even then, most of the time, that's usually funny more than anything else. But that's the goal, Otto. Um... But that's why that type of content is so important for me to make. And I had COVID too in that period, which probably didn't help, uh, I suspect. In fact, definitely didn't help because I basically didn't leave the bed for like five days nearly. That was less about any kind of depression. That was literal. <laughs> Another bullshit penalty. This time in our favor, admittedly. He's doing a European journey, man. He's already in his second job. How can he be on his second job already? I swear he was at Landvetter. What happened? <laughs> Oh, dear. No chat on screen. Oh, yeah. That's weird. That is... Why is everything broken today? Uh... What's going on? <laughs> What's going on? Sorry, Vodis. You're missing all the incredibly highbrow chat that you no doubt know is existing underneath. <laughs> CBT, yes. Um, I did a series of CBT. I did. It wasn't like um, with another person. I got this uh, a workbook and I was doing some CBT. Ironically, the last time I came back from a holiday, as it goes, it was in 2019 when I'd come back. I was feeling properly rubbish. And so I started doing CBT then and it did actually help, to be fair. Code on YouTube. Uh, yeah, I need to have a look at that too. Again, this is a Twitch thing, I suspect, but it's, I say Twitch thing, you know what I mean? The way they're exporting. I think what it is, is Twitch is exporting the VODs to YouTube before they've been fully processed on the Twitch end. And as a result, there's only a 360p link. So I think I'm going to like leave it an hour or so after stream before I actually... Oh, hang on. It's 2-0! Before I actually load the export file, potentially. Ah, it's offside. This is not bad, actually. These guys are top flight. End of the season after they're relegated. <laughs> ah, it's part of the fun though, isn't it? My mental health's been... I mean, you know that this is the reason I stopped. We've only had one shot, actually. That's that's certainly a worth worth noting. <laughs> Let me try praise. See if this works. It does. To be fair, it does. 16 goals and 3 assists. Oh, the, the striker that Kadith had is insane. Oh, by the way, uh, after stream, you're going to see a whole load of new save files in Make This Your Next Save. I have 12 sat in my Mediafire account waiting to upload. I just didn't get a chance last night to write all of the copy to go with them. So we can pursue again. It's another penalty. <laughs> Good God. Uh, so no, Norway had a, a real problem whereby it was, you're only allowed to have, I think it was nine non-Norwegian players in the team. So it was a proper, and every player had to be registered, even the Norwegians under any age. So it made it really hard to bring through youth players. I suppose like every penalty we've seen today has been a non-pen. if you leave it for you. Okay, interesting. But yeah, I've got some kind of mad shit coming up. Let me, uh, what have I got? I'll, I'll give you a little preview, if you like, of some of the uh, make this your next save saves I've got ready to go out later today. Uh, I've got a big list of them here. So I've got 
Uh, what have we got? What have we got? We got? Aberdeen have just won the SPL. I've got Maritimo of Portugal in the third tier and have come mid-table. Top Os promoted to the top flight. Rio Ave, champions of Portugal. I've got... Oh, I also did some, um, like, scenario databases for individual... Like, um, ones that aren't at the end of a season. Ones that are, like, you know, with, like, ten matches to go as well for, like, red zone type stuff as well. That will be coming soon as well. How many seasons do you think it will take? Uh, to give you an idea, my last save was 32 seasons. And the one before that was 26. And it's another goal for us. And it's Nemeth. That might be offside. Yes, it is. Any tycoons yet? Yes. There's actually one in the Discord chat right now. Um, do they include another database set up? Yes. The, the database set up is part of the requirements. Yeah, that's a little bit offside, isn't it? Surely. Okay. Can add to real life, please. In it. Uh, what else have I got? I've also got... Uh, yeah, so the, some of the scenario ones I've got. I've got Southampton in the Champions League places with nine games left in 2024. Monaco, five points clear at the top of the league with nine games left, same year. Marseille, two points from safety in League 1. Uh. Newcastle, top of the Prem with eight games left in the game in hand. Roma, top of Serie A. I've got Cambridge United, six points from safety for the Championship. Espanyol, one point from safety in La Liga 2. Uh, Luton, bottom of the Prem, seven points from safety. Stuttgart, top of the Bundesliga. Marseille and Montpellier, both above PSG. Atalanta in the drop zone. Wolfsburg, Wolfsburg top of the Bundesliga. And Hellas Verona, third in Serie A. So I've got... Um, those are the ones I'm going to be putting out later. And those last ones are all like um, with like 10 matches to go as well. Do you know well. if there's a train coming anytime soon? Oh, yes, yeah, very soon. Ard Vadima. Yeah, Thank I'm you building it now. So, yeah, I'll get those up for you after stream. Despite the fact that we've only had the two penalties as our goals today, we've still been pretty solid. Oh, uh, yeah, Hungary starts 26th in the coefficients, whereas Ireland, I believe, was 39th and then actually fell to 42nd. Here's a fun yeah, fact. so I don't know we'll why the chat box isn't simple. working. Uh, let's just try and. Uh, let's just go big boy screen for a second. Uh, Killer Rebel, thank you very much for the follow. We go back again. See if we can load it back into life. Cooper, do not hate me. That's my next play. I am familiar with over 600 there you dance go. moves and I am programmed. Hey, you and how's it going? Freaky. I'm excellent, my friend. How are you? Yeah, Red Zone is going to... So, yeah. Obviously, if I did a positive scenario one, it wouldn't be called Red Zone. I'd come up with a different name. Uh, but when we do Red Zone, it will be, uh, you know, negative scenarios, basically. Uh, profit from the Discord thing? No. It's just just the thing I wanted to do for people to have cool saves, honestly. we talk, Basically, it was an idea I'd had um, back end of FM22, and I discussed it with stream, and it's 3-0. <laughs> We're beating a top flight side 3-0. Uh, me too, me too. Hey, Rushy, how's it going? And um, chat seemed to like the idea of it, because I, I thought... I was just surprised that it didn't exist already. Like a big... If I'd have thought about it a bit more... I would have made a Discord server that was separate for it so that we could have separated different stuff into different channels within it. That would have been a better idea. So it's not operating specifically Cooper, on my Discord server. But, you know, it is what it is. Dash, though! Thank you for the follow. I appreciate it, Carlos. I do. Um, and that goes for anyone else as well. Like, you know what I'm always about? It's most of the time I'm about. I can be flaky, and I do apologize sometimes if I'm slow getting back to people. It's just that sometimes when I'm in one of those sort of moods i tend to just withdraw i'm horrendous for that my i'll just go silent in most of my group chats and stuff like that uh most of the people don't notice but like i i try to yeah usually it's pog that brings me out of it um to give you an example other night when this was really bad it was like one in the morning and pog's laying there describing flags to me and i'm telling her what they are to give you an idea tough with the new champions league format um no don't think so if anything i think it might actually be better Work considering for FM24. Maybe, yeah. Maybe. The green bag. Wait, what was the green bag? What did I miss? Caesar's worth posting in the Discord. I mean... Uh, what am I looking at specifically here? I mean, honestly, anything you think like, someone might be interested in taking over, just pop it in the Discord, really. Oh, thank you, Danny. Uh, yes, this is the, the same data, but the one that I posted in the Discord in the stream chat, the one that I referred to as like the final one, that is the database I'm using here. And if you want the save file itself, I think I posted that in the Discord too, actually. Um, but there's a, a command in chat. Well, I'll get a database command set up for next stream, which will be Thursday for those of you uh, maybe new to my content. In fact, if you are new to my content in general, either have never caught a stream before or watched the YouTube or just new to my content in general, um, it's Tuesday, Thursday, 11 till 3. And then on Sundays, it's 10 till 2. UK time, that is. Uh, and if you have enjoyed today, and not that I'm finishing, um, then drop a follow. That'd be nice. I appreciate it. House book. Not as good as they could be, honestly, Bay. And I can say that because she's on a driving lesson at the moment. To leave now. <laughs> we love new people. Bring on 
As long as they get the vibe, it's all good. Philly, thank you for the follow. Local chat for local people only. <laughs> SY sex, it means... No, that's not... That's definitely not right. <laughs> Compacting the save. I could do, actually, yeah. And that's a good save, actually. We've played well here. I know there's two pens in there, but we've given up very little defensively, which is exciting. And also, our Regista has had a good game. It's good. Uh, you Inexplicably, our Regista has actually had a good performance here. Gamer Dad! Thank you for the follow. Tell me sorry. Really? That's kind of sick, actually. Oh, Zygabus, the reg Right, I've really enjoyed watching Zygabus in this first in this game. Several times now, he's been able to cut in and get into that position and has been free multiple times. He had one disallowed earlier. It's 4 0 against the Lega Segi. Sorry, Segi, because it's, yeah. I know there's two pens in there, but this is love. Look at that pass. Was that the Regista? Look at that finish as well. Oh, you know, there's a train coming in love that. Oh, yeah, uh, we're still in preseason, sure. Baz. They still in preseason. Rookie, thank you for the follow. And Tom16, Matt, thank you so much for the prime. That's super kind of you. This would be the first one. Yeah, we lost to Bremen. Go on, Harv. The celebrations. Yep, I do like the celebrations. And I'll be I must be honest, some of the animations around the player movement are still really good. Like, I have to give them credit for that. That's pretty successful. I like this system. I like the Regista. What did the Regista get? Cooper, was it? Do not hate me. It I was. It was the Regista. Horvath was the one that played the assist there for Zwiegeva. Love that. Ball physics too. Yeah, true. Full time talk. Thank you for the follow. It does look really nice. World Cup. Oh, for sure, Marco. I'm genuinely not at arsed at the moment. I think that may maybe change once I start watching like the first game of the tournament, but it just feels wrong in so many ways. George, thank you for the three months. Hope you're well. One stop before we eat goulash in Wembley. <laughs> That's the dream. Uh, boom. But I'm just not getting the the vibes on all It's just because it's the wrong time of year. World Cup Fantasy. No, but we can do. I, I will set one up. Is there a is that game actually like out and released to the point where you can do that now? Because the Euro one took a bit of time. Uh, under 19's game. Yeah, fuck it. We'll actually set them available for this because I want as much match fitness available as possible. If you like, link me in the Discord or somewhere half to it. I I'll I'll set that up later. Yeah, Ecuador Qatar. I don't know why it has to be the host in the first game. Just yeah. Exactly, Marco. Hopefully, Mitro's foot heals. Last rest of the. Yeah, I just I've literally I don't think I've actually watched any F1 since Max won the time. I just I've completely lost interest in it. Danny, thank you for the five gifted subs. That's so kind. Get some presents for you, my friend. A super duper nice. If you haven't been gifted a sub by anyone today, because there have been quite a bit of that, which I'm very appreciative of, as always, um, and incredibly, uh, what's the word? Uh, don't deserve it, but that's, thank you very nice. Thank you very nice. Then, yeah, do be sure to thank the person that gifted you that sub. Netherlands, Senegal. I would much rather watch Netherlands, Senegal. I will be, of course, rooting for the Ecuadorians, but, like, yeah. Salty Radio. Oh, no, I saw that just because I watched things on, like, TikTok and that, but delayed. 2k what oh fuck oh shit we actually no wait hang on surely i can get 2k oh i can't because of those contracts right that's mm. it's much better than us um i think on paper england probably do but i still don't think they'll perform that well promotion oh we actually can trying to work out i actually we're expected to win promotion by winning the league and i'm going to go for that because it will give us a tiny bit more cash which will then allow us to hopefully get the panache deal done Ooh. one player you would recommend that isn't one of the usual wonder kids or one of the diamond freebies who seems to be a free player um actually yes yes there is this chap here nathaniel nawusu um he becomes an unbelievable goalkeeper. Basically. Highly this worth it. Fact. Can be obtained well, for free, or at the very least for like 60k. Um, JRK, thank you for the follow. He's insane. I did some tests um, with him. In fact, I can actually show you. <laughs> I can literally show you, I think. Let me just save the game here. Sorry to distract everyone for a second, but I think I can actually show you how good he becomes. Uh, if I go to load game, and then we go to... See, these are all the make this your next save saves. Uh, let's do like there. Because he retired. 5'11 in your save. That's weird. How old is... Was mine 6'4? Let's show you. Let's 
this is the sort of player that he becomes at 36. 191 caps on Nigeria. You can sort of see why he's the type of player that you'd probably want to sign, basically. Um, the reason I have this is because I was doing some sims with him to probably make a video about him because I think he's worthy of that because he's such a good signing. But yeah, would highly recommend. The reason he was at Dinamo three times is because um, I had to keep moving him back to Dinamo because he kept leaving. So I just used the editor to move him back three times. <laughs> Oh, dear. Start from Brazil up front. I don't know. <laughs> Richarlison. Probably. Uh, yeah, we'll just go with that for now. Doesn't want to join you. Really? Hang on. You're Middlesbrough and he doesn't want to join Middlesbrough. Oh, we're definitely not loaning Zwiga, though, because I really liked him. Scouting method. I, as far as I can tell, Baz, yeah. I don't see there being any reason not to. Wow, these games are so close together. Mid-Jenny makes of Nigerian wonder kid goalkeeper. Oh, that's the dream. Hmm. Yeah, Benasha. It's weird. But Jarju's coming in. We're getting Moses Jarju, but that's not going to be until January. So that should now free up my ability to change the Panache deal, right? And now we're going to get um, Van Genechten. It's going to be a tough one for me. At some point soon, we should get the Liverpool uh, report through. So we can figure out who we can actually take on loan from Liverpool because they should all be free. So that should pad them out. What's wrong with Borough? I I've never been to Borough. It seems if it's good enough for Rodrigo Muniz, it's good enough for me. YVG, yeah. It's probably going to have to be YVG, isn't it? Uh, right. Okay, so now we've got Pushcats. Okay, so another top flight side. Won't drop because underrated. True. This is going to have to require some switches. But that's fine because we can bring back in um, Petroso in a much more winnable environment. Craster or... Fuck it, we'll it play Crest. Uh, you came in summer. I don't want to run them into the in ground winter, too much if I can, can though. Get very depressing. Uh, ooh, hang on a minute. Papa is a sick. <laughs> Thank you for the follow, I think. What's up a Leverkin is either? That's interesting. Isn't he 17? That might be why he won't talk to us at the moment. There's no loan agreement. Oh, really? Put the new signing. Who's the new signing? Oh, Wait, uh, we've... Oh, Van Neck. Yeah, of course. Yeah, we can bring in uh, YVG. Let's get him in. Instead of Selos. Particularly instead of Selos, because he's actually... Yeah, makes way more sense, actually. Jack will play the World Cup. I mean, he's in the squad, I presume, right? Uh, right, so... Ooh, Enrique Luro. Not a player I've heard of. Have a little bang on that. Free agent. Hi, friendo. Would you like to come on a trial? Remember, we've got the issue with the lack of um, non-EU spots. But then, if we could just bring in a few guys, and if they don't have to play, they could still be good for next year. Diego Torres, Paraguay. Uh, hang on, let's just do that. It'd be easier. I'm assuming it's this chap here, who is also a free agent. God, there's a lot of free agents knocking about. Either that, or I just don't pay attention to them. Serious monetary subsidies. Yeah, that, I was surprised, honestly. You honest. Like, the second tier is quite strict, but it's only really strict about, like, a couple of things. But the second, the top flight is just a free for all, honestly. Weird. Right, I, I think I'm genuinely going to need another, another wee wee. I can't believe this. I've had too much to drink today. Um, I don't even know what to say. Talk about yourselves. I'm going to do the who's that Pokemon thing for players uh, coming up soon as well, but I haven't got that sorted out yet. So back in a sec, friends.
Do I just walk back into Pokemon related puns? God, you lot are good. So, for those of you that didn't get what I meant when I said the um, who's that Pokemon thing, what I'm going to start doing is when I take my P breaks or stuff, on the BR at back screen, we're going to have the attributes of a player and maybe like their nationality and chat have to guess what player it is while I'm away. <laughs> also, little thing arrived for me. Do you remember last week, chat, when I was saying that because I've stopped vaping, I needed to have something in my hand and I've been using a chapstick and someone recommended like a fidget toy kind of thing. So I couldn't remember what the one that everyone was recommending was. But I went ahead and bought one anyway. And oh my lord. Looks like a butt plug. I'm here for it. Got a little case and everything. Look at this. Look at that. Oh, that's that's odd. What made me stop vaping? Uh, COVID. Oh, yeah, it's like a cube that's got sort of stuff on it. Let me find one that suits my aura. I don't want anything that clicks because then it will show up on stream. Um, that's quite nice, actually. I do quite like a bit of that. Okay. Yeah, it's it's got a it's like a fidget cube. It's got different bits on it. But basically, um, yeah, when I got COVID, I was like, right, this is a good opportunity for me to stop vaping. And so I have. So I haven't had a, I haven't touched my vape in like 16 days now. Like it's in the drawer, but I haven't actually used it. Um, the only time I ever feel the need to now is when I'm sat at my desk, because what would often happen is when I was streaming or when I was editing videos, I'd just be sat here chain vaping while I was editing, because it's just like a, a nervous thing I would do. So I figured I'd use the opportunity of getting COVID to, yeah, to do that. Yeah, I don't drink. Uh, the, the coffee I had earlier was decaf. I'm still on the decaf as well. That's I would highly recommend the caffeine thing, honestly. Or the lack of caffeine thing. It's so good. I don't have an alarm clock anymore. Do I have a nicotine? No, no, no nicotine. Um, just, honestly, the, the great thing about when I had COVID is I didn't want anything like that. And so because I had like five, six days of that, I think I got out of a lot of the nicotine stuff straight away. So now it was just more about the habitual stuff. Uh, without caffeine, I wouldn't have breakfast. You can still have coffee, you just have decaf. It's surprising how much better you feel. Oh, just down to cocaine and coffee. <laughs> Where's the fidget cube? It is. Uh, so I'm trying not to show like the shipping addresses and stuff. Oh, it's an empty box. <laughs> um, I'll, I'll I'll put a link to the one I bought in the uh, Discord later. If you remind me. Timberacta, thank you for the follow. Do we just get another penalty? We don't even need to score goals. Live unpack it. Yeah, it's it's kind of sick. Hang on, I hope this won't fuck the stream up too. Wow, look at that smooth. So it's like um obviously it won't focus because this is on manual, but it's each side basically has a different tactile function on it. So there's like a clicky bit here, there's like a bit that moves like a light switch one, which is kind of good. It just occupies my hands while Yeah. Hopefully you can't hear the clicking. Yeah, that is an obscene amount of pens. Are we all like run at defense or anything? No. <laughs> Imagine if we were. We're preseason gods. Yeah, well, this is the thing. When you first, if you do try to stop the caffeine, bear in mind that you are going to get the mother of all headaches at first, because it you'll get like a caffeine withdrawal headache and it is horrible. But once that passes, you're kind of good. Um. I find that now I can sleep for pretty much the exact same amount of time every single time. As long as I go to bed at the right time, I know that I'll be up at the exact time. And that wasn't where I got mine from, Saz. Mine was from literally a website that was called like Fidget Cube something. I'll, I'll, I'll put the link later, but there might be the same one to be fair. Janja with the clicky lid. Yeah, this is... I'm, I'm, I'm just, I'll have to figure out a way to hold this that's most comfortable for me, I think. Fidget fuckers are now here on a different website entirely now. After went, okay, yeah, exactly, yeah. Oh my god, what a goal. Yeah, the, the long ranges are still a bit powerful. Two players from MTK. Yeah, I remember hearing about that broken, actually, because when we were managing Dundee United in the beta, someone mentioned that. I think Dundee United had signed a guy from MTK as well, actually. Oh, uh, when was my video? It, uh, oh, you're better off just doing exclamation mark database trucker because it's on the second channel. I realized that I made a huge error by making it for the second channel because it's not monetized. 
but life goes on, eh? Oh, go on. Oh, I thought we were going to get another pen or something there. Come on. The new Belgian youngster. It's not a bad cross, actually. I want to see how this new striker is going to do for us today. I think it's important that he hits the ground running for us in the league. Link to Ashton United. <laughs> Link to Ashton United in it. Bordeaux. I actually had a... um. One of my... De one of the I didn't actually put it in the Make This Your Next Save because I just... I don't know. I had one where I think Bordeaux were like top of the league or something. Oh, we're in. We're in. That's a great goal. It's two all. Come on. Cooper, How far have we gotten? Uh, we are in our third preseason friendly. <laughs> if that helps. Uh, and thank you very much for the follow as well. Miofsky, that was the one. Yeah, he's, he, Miofsky scored against me every single time my Dundee United side played Aberdeen in that save. Not affected by Kathy. So mine now does take four cans of monster in a day. That, that's because you built up a tolerance to it. So if you were to stop for like six months and then had a can of monster, you'd probably pass out or like you'd feel insanely lightheaded. So when I... Do, chat, do you remember back in the summer when I'd been up all night watching ice hockey? <laughs> Suddenly I'm Ben. Um, I was watching the Stanley Cup finals, obviously. And I was up to like five o'clock watching the Avs Tampa Bay game. And I had to go pick up Pog after stream the next day. And so when I got to Birmingham, I had a coffee in Morrison's and holy shit Pog will tell you I was insufferable on the way back home because I was bouncing off the walls it was mental oh we're getting another one here Kovacs good save 300 channels oh my apologies if you look under SYT channels towards the top there'll be a one there'll be a full a channel called make this your next save and that's where all the uh, the saves are. This is partly why I think I should have made a separate discord server for this project but at the time I honestly didn't think people would care that much <laughs> I've got to stop doing that. <laughs> We're going to give him another penalty here. Fucking <laughs> hell. Oh, welcome to Hungary, where every goal is a penalty. This is getting ridiculous now. This is like the sixth... I think this is the sixth penalty we've seen so far today over three games. It's only half time here. Hmm. They are hungry for a pen, yeah. But again... We're giving Pushkas a good game considering they're a top flight side. For short term games. Well, that's what. Oh, this is the thing, Bay. Oh, sorry. Um, I'll call you Baywood because we've already got a Bay. Um, this is the thing. The saves I'm going to be putting in there later are all like scenario databases where there's like 10 games left of a season. So you've got like a real short challenge if you want. I've got 12 of those coming up later. Because Plus, I wanted to do some of my own Sims for I'll make this your next save anyway. So it's kind of two birds, one stone, right? Hmm. Yeah, I think we need to get training on penalty taking and saving of penalties as well. But hey, it's fine. We, we move. What was our? We scored two. Hang on, let me just get rid of get this on. Um, oh god, what was it? I can't remember. Notable events. That's it. Oh, it was that lovely strike, wasn't it? Okay, plenty of time. Oh, here we go. Oh, big tackle on there. Is that actual God's Power Tower? No, that is actual God's Power Tower. Oh, no, wait. That's, um... Sorry. No, it's God's Power... Not Iguana. Its name is similar. Igugia, I think his name is. We found another guy called God's Power. Basically, we were looking through our youth academy, and we have a player in our youth academy called God Words. Not God's Word. God Words. Like Bible and Pew and such. Oh, here he is. He's into the box. Petroso. Oh, back across. Go on. Spread it. Oh! <laughs> Really, Mark, you should have probably squared that. <laughs> you really should have squared that to your teammate here, but that is still a very good goal. Good God. Like, when he gets this ball, I'm thinking, just roll it here. Just roll it here. But no, no, he's got other ideas. He actually takes it further outside the box just to show off. Little ball run, then bang. You know there's a, a roguelite game that's like a Scrabble-based one? If you're, into the, if you're into your roguelites, I'm tempted to buy it. We're getting a lot of possession too, which is really tasty. I'm liking this default tactic. I like the Regista. I say default tactic. It's not a default tactic, but like... God's power's done badly, as has the Belgian chappy, annoyingly. But the guy in front of him has done fantastically well. What's it called? It's called uh, Words Can Kill. It's like four quid on Steam, I think, and or it was. It's not a hugely expensive game. I saw Frost Prime play it the other day. I reckon that this is a... We're in good shape right now. Particularly if we bring in a couple more guys. I think this could be a walk the second. This should really be a walk this division type of season for us. But, you know, it can all still go horribly wrong for us. 
Particularly as we're not even fully match fit yet, which is helpful. And this isn't even our first full strength side. There's a lot of players that are missing for this. Um, two assists, though, for Petroso. He may well have not, like, scored yet for us, but two assists from the striker is a good sign about what's to come. So, yeah, two more penalties in that game. Scribble Nauts. I have not heard of that, no. I'll take that completely. So, we've played against Zalegasegi, who I don't think are as strong as Pushcast, though. So, we beat Zalegasegi 4-0, and we've got a 3 all draw against Pushcast. That's pretty good. I'm excited about that. And then think, remember, we've got potential for some Liverpool signings. I know we won't be able to maybe get the loans, but I think we might still get something, potentially. Fans might sack us. Wow. I mean, he's very good. There's no way he signs for us. Then again, we do have more money now. Because Jarju is going to join us. We're going to get Panish. Can I confirm this yet? Uh, where's the thing that says... I swear you used to be able to ask for confirmation. Hmm. Weird. Uh, oh, I missed a couple of lookups. My apologies. There's Tyreek McGee first. Uh, Tariq McGee of... Oh, another guy from Newpen. Is he another potential loanee? Potenti potentially. He said, ah, oh, we can't scout him. Ah, uh, we probably could, actually. I don't want to overdo it on that, but... No fee involved. But there was a fee. I swear there was a fee. That's the only reason that we were holed up in the first place, right? Because we had to delay it briefly. Uh, Volamark. Transfer script. I thought so as well, but... Yeah, it was a 2k fee. Maybe we still can't play it. Uh, pay it, rather. Player screen. Uh, which view? Oh, it's because this is for players that... This only shows up when you don't... When the player doesn't play for you. So I need to, like, um, get rid of some of these career stats. What? Oh, God, I hate that. Oh, I need to change that. The You know, with the, the back button bit. I need to change that so that it doesn't go back off the page. Because this is a bit fiddly. And if you click the wrong one... Uh, I'm trying to think what to put in these. I guess scouting would be good to have. No, maybe not. I don't know. I'm trying to think what to add into these. Uh, attribute analysis is up there. Hard to say. Season stats? No, we've already got season stats. Transfer info? I don't know. Skin teeth. Thank you very much for the follow. The thing is, there's almost like not enough things that you'd want to know about a player that doesn't already play for you. I guess career achievements, maybe? Yeah. <laughs> it works really good for players that are yours, though, because you get so much information on one screen. It's just an absolute dream. But what the fuck? Oh, great. Hang on. Now I've got to go and reset all this. I didn't think that was going to change it for players that play for... Considering it... That's annoying. Playing time pathway. Uh, progress. Hang on a minute. And then... What was it I had here? Fuck. I've forgotten. Uh, bloody hell. I don't know what I even had there. Um, oh, <laughs> brain's gone blank. Was it the Psy, the sports analysis one? I can't remember what that is. Oh, no, that's the squad comparison one there. Hang on, the one. Player's not in the club side. Yeah, that's a bit annoying, isn't it? There's nothing you can do about it. Um, what do I even put here? Past injuries, last five games, maybe? I don't know. There was definitely something else I had that I'd have to check. And not too much, Dom. We've just been sort of mostly trying to find a couple of players to bring in, losing out on a couple to PSG and whatnot. But actually, I think we've brought in so far anyway. I think per Petroso is a really solid striker for us. Even though he lacks composure, we can work on that. He's quick, though. We've also got Jentel van Genechten, or Genechten, who is a really solid option for us. We've got a couple more in the works as well that haven't quite come to pass yet. The automatically, um, it is set to be ticked at the moment, but I don't think that affects that screen anyway. Or does it? I forgot. Right, so next up is a game against a weaker side. The problem is the squad's going to have to be so heavily rotated here anyway. I'm weirdly not seeing a lot tactically that I'm actually that bothered by at the moment. Which is good news. Conference League in your second season. Hell yeah. Wait, did you win the cup or something? Wait, how did you get Conference League second season? Because I, I think the, surely the only way that's possible is if you won the cup first season, maybe? Sick. 
To be fair, we actually got quite far in the League Cup first. We got quite far in the League Cup first season last year. It's just that obviously the League Cup does not do anything for you in Ireland. <laughs> Tell me this actually, Syndra. Does Treaty actually finally play in like um, one of the local cups this year? Or are they still buggered with that one? So you say if I turn off the custom panel thing. Wait, where's it gone? Uh, fuck, where's it gone? This one here. If you untick over right. So if I... Okay, let's just do that. We'll try that out. Uh, only monster. No, that's still good though. Uh, they didn't even happen. Approach me early Holland. Hey, you got to shoot your shot, right? I don't blame him at all. Cup is doable in the. Well, to be fair, Treaty United did pretty well in the cup in real life this year, didn't they? Have we got Bootman yet? Sadly, not. No. Um, he, we can't afford him. Yeah. So why? Hang on. I want to go back and have a look at why I can't. Because look, Panache. Why did it say? If it's zero, why did I have to confirm it? Is it because there was like, um... It might be that there was like a signing on fee or something. But it is odd that I now can't confirm the deal. It could be a 2k agent fee. Maybe we just have to wait then. Bit annoying that you can't like confirm that yourself. You went in real life. I love that you went into Rayleigh. That's so you. I'm looking forward to going there. Um, even if I just literally have to head across for the day to grab myself a plushy duck. Need transfer budget to confirm it. Oh, okay. But then surely I can't adjust the transfer budget because... Oh, no, hang on. Aha! Correcto mundo! You're right. That would make sense. Yeah, also, he didn't have an agent. So what was the fee? 2k will be deducted. I'm sure I'm missing something here. Maybe the signing on fee doesn't show up on this screen. The loyalty, but yeah, the loyalty is six k though. Maybe the yeah, where's the signing on fee? It doesn't show up. Maybe it's just not on this screen. Oh, is it part of loyalty fee? Oh, okay. The singing on fee. Now you're talking. It's my favourite. Do a bit of that. Get Jaden Smith in. I don't think he's going to make that much difference for us anyway. Uh, God. Literally, God's power. But why would I want to start Craster again? Surely I could start someone that's a bit more match fit, perhaps. Like someone that's actually going to play for us this season. Just an idea. Like someone like Zombo Noj. Oh, actually, maybe not Noj. He's knackered. But Seppi would be good. Petroso, yeah, he's dead, actually. Gideon Tax. Good point. Yes, I hadn't thought about that. Yeah, I'm going to email the club and see if there is any way that they can ship outside of... Um, the EU so I can get the stuff but worst case I say worst case worst case scenario oh no I have to uh, go to Budapest for the day it's odd Quimby but I feel like it does actually work weirdly hey magical I'm trying to get new gen faces working for the first time and it sounds like about for use with DF11 so DF11 is a face pack um, magical so which new gen face files are we talking about are we talking about the Z gens like the the Nugan ones Maybe I just misread that. So basically, there is a, a version of the DF11 face pack that works for the Nugan thing. If, if that might be what you're referring to, I'm not sure. Yeah, no, I'm looking forward to go. Mike and I are probably going to sort of way to go out there, but I still owe Mike a trip around Cambridge, to be fair. I've promised I'd take him punting. Do bowl corners of plushies and shirts? Well, I'm definitely getting myself shirt and plushie and scarf. I said, I, this all started because I showed you their club shop or someone sent me the plushy duck on the club shop. And don't think I'm not getting that. Bay, I don't know if you're still around, actually. There was that goose hat that you found on Amazon that I think I lost the link to. And I am desperate to find it again because, of course, I would quite like to purchase it, even if I can't wear it particularly under my headphones. Penis hunting? S similar. It's basically the same, right? It's basically the same. I've, I've promised Mike a night out in Cambridge, you know. The, the, the raucous city of Cambridge. That was quite bad from us there. This is going top bins, isn't it? Oh, nearly. I, I, don't, I say take a punt. I've never been punting. Like, I've never had the, the urge, I suppose. Oh, here we go. Steven with the ball in. 
Show me something clever. Luro. Oh, it's a lovely header from Enrique Luro. Okay. Retired from the age of 35. 35 is a good age. Oh, he found it. Nice. Oh, sick. I mean, what's not to love? <laughs> How quickly can I get this? <laughs> it's my question. December? Useless. A massive punter. Oh, I am. But I'm just a big stick that they use instead. He's inside me. I can't hear that and not think of the league. Yeah, they have some insane... They've got really high youth recruitment. So if we can get the junior coaching up and then obviously the facilities to go with it, we're going to hopefully get some outrageously good players, which would be sick. I those of you that follow the Discord and the stream chat will have seen uh, last week when I was doing some test saves with this. My first save oh, yeah, when we had Emmett as the Hoyd, he brought yeah, through an absolute monster. Like, I'm not even being funny. Like a, a legitimate worldie. Connor Clapton, thank you for the follow. Eric would be proud. Let me just actually have a look. See if I can find it in the stream chat. Uh, it's a while ago, but it was just something absolutely menacingly good. This guy. I'll just get it on my other screen. Oh, pitch invasion. Holy shit, Muriani, thank you very much for the raid. That's so kind of you, my friend. Let me just uh, Do not hate stop this match for a second so I can give you a lovely shout out. How was stream? To get I always do this wrong. Let's just make sure I get the extra A. So it's that second A that throws me, my friend. It's always the second A. Tico Broen, thank you for the follow. So yes, this was the player that um came through when I was doing some tests. Bear in mind, 15 years old. 14 aerial reach, 11 reflexes. Three and a half star current ability. If we get anyone like this in our first youth intake, I would be extremely happy, basically. So yeah, Emmett brought this guy through. Mental. And he's, yeah, Attila. What a guy. Like, I want a player like this, damn it. He's like a regen Sunday type of player. We wouldn't have even needed that um, Nigerian keeper if this guy could come through. So if we get anyone that's even half as good as this, I'll be very, very happy. I was literally gutted when I saw it because I was like, damn it, we're never going to get a player that good at the save, aren't we? <laughs> it's typical. Uh, in fact, has, have I got a message from Mike here? Oh, no, I do, but it's it's business. Er, yeah, every rich and small guy, indeed. Door into this. Yeah, oh, yeah. That was the... I was basically testing the save file to make sure that Emmett worked in the file. So I simmed a little bit. And that was the first player that Emmett brought through. We will never get a player even close to that good in the save. I guarantee it. It's like the game just knows. Oh, that was a lovely idea. Like, he tried to slot that through the channel there. That was nice. Remember how long it took to get Manuel Jizzy, for example, with Treaty United? Although, as it turned out, it was actually the Icelandic dude that was the better of the two players. What a pass. Nemet's into the channel here. Go on. There's some bodies arriving. Oh, look, he's done him. <laughs> and now he's hit the post with it. That was lovely work. Lovely bit of skill. I do like seeing more like skill move types of stuff in the game. Oh yeah, our first youth intake is probably going to be... Actually, the first youth intake will probably be okay. I love that this is still in the game. Like, why is it still blue? I know technically it works with our color scheme, but it's blue I think in everybody's saves. I'm liking this register. A club that's not the national team off their club's youth rating. I don't actually know the intricacies of it, to be honest. I think it is still... Ba it's basically more about the... So if you're in a country with X youth rating, that is heavily taken into account. Fuck. That's really not good. We'll get um, Kovac Reti in, but that is far from ideal. That's Nemeth injured. Uh, I was about to make more subs there, and it's only 39 minutes in. God damn it. Could do, really do without that. Also, we've been a bit lax here. It's almost like against better sides that open up a little bit more against us, we're more effective. But it could again be down to the lack of fitness levels in certain players. Then again, we are winning the game, I suppose. Oh, no, no it's one all. It's literally one all. Hmm. You're doing Jotti. Oh, nice. Are they in second tier as well? Yeah, we're not really creating a great deal in this game. It's, that's, that's fascinating. Considering we put four past Zalegaseki and then three past Pushkas. Do, do you want to do any more ball rolls there, Enrique? Okay, cool. Glad, glad we got that covered. <laughs> What's he doing? Just dicking about with it. Oh, here we go. Put some pressure on him. Oh, Jory. Yes. I think that's right. I'm going to get better at the pronunciations as the year goes along. Oh, that's a nice ball. Go on, Jaden. 
Ah, oh, close one. Jack Shaw, thank you so much for the six months. We have a lovely Tuesday. Struggles are hard in the Champions League. Interesting. How many seasons did you get in, Ticker? I'm curious. Also, have a stream. Oh, go on. This is a long range banger if I've ever seen one. Oh. Prioritizing building a nation. Um, It depends on. To me, it's like a function of. It also depends on how you're doing the save. So for me, focus on yourself for the first couple of seasons of the save. Once you're regularly. Well, not even regularly. Once you're capable of qualifying for like the group stages of something in Europe, you'll have a bit more cash. Which means you can start investing in the loan farm a little bit and slowly start building up that army of loan players to get them to the other sides in your league. That's generally... I actually made a video all about this. Came out this morning. Uh, yeah, okay, more subs. Let's just start randomly throwing subs in here and just try and see what they've got to offer. Wow, James Smith's been dreadful. Bring Petroso back in as well, actually. And I might get um, Steve off, although he's been okay. And you've had she had an okay game, but you're knackered. And you're wow, you're not good at all. I bring in Varju there. There we go. Good recommendations. I mean, Poland is always a safe bet. Put prime subs on your bench. <laughs> oh god, please don't lose to these guys. No, okay, good save. We've really not been that good in this game. I'm putting it down to the lack of fitness in some of the players and the fact that this is basically a third string sod, but still. Only one team went to the Champions League. Yeah, it's really, really tough. Most obscure hunger. Oh, some of them are super long. Nice, good time. Struggling tactical wise. I think that chaos is is your friend. Um, creating chaos in other teams' backlines seems to be the biggest. Um, winner for you if you like that and just pressing thoughts on twix i haven't had a twix in a long time captain ginger honestly it's been a while oh he didn't like that did he attack is a before yeah it feels like he doesn't join us for january <laughs> after all why He's 20. Oh, because I didn't sign him on a perm. Can I not, like, buy now? <gasps> buy now. Please don't be oh, expensive. 9k. Ooh. Is it worth it for Panache? <laughs> Silly question. Of course it's worth it for Panache. How about the injury? Twisted. Oh, good. Just as well, actually, that we have signed Panache. Because our best striker has just gone down for six weeks. Ain't promising you nothing, bruv. But. Please be good. Please be good. Those of you doubted me. Oh, he's just an idiot trying to sign players that you like for the memes. Tell me about that. Tell me about that. Panache Mutamanioka is now the second best striker at the club. <laughs> 14 finishing. He's got 14. Pay Hang on. Have we got like a better version of Panache in this save? I think they've nerfed or changed him since the... He's so much better. Hey, Teddy Crows. How much? Hang on. Oh, good. How much are under 19 contracts? No budget. Um, that sounds dumb. Canada. Uh, you probably won't have any access to that, but Canada and the MLS, you can get a load of really cheap players from the youth contracts of the amateur sides that are like the academies of those teams, and you get so many mad, um, like, nationality combinations. Yeah. He's, we've got, this is a much better panache than the one we got at Dundee United. He's so much better consistent he's faster i don't understand why he's so good this is so much better boom take that uh let's get i'm still gonna get him working on his composure as well though because he needs to work on that but that's still really dis uh joris manquan he's the guy that we tried to sign earlier um unfortunately he's at psg now well he's not but we did try to sign him it just didn't quite work yeah, now that we've actually... I'm glad we did that, though. Because without the... um, Yeah. Without the... Best striker being... Around... Well, plus he's older as well, which means that we're going to have to... Yeah. But no, seriously, Canada. Sorry, I've got... My brain's got completely flat there. Yeah, unfortunately, Manquan is not available anymore. We did try to sign him. But, you know, once PSG are interested. Yeah. So there's Booty, man. He might be a... Uh, we're promoted to the top flight type of signing. I feel like Booty and um, and Wusu are those players. 
players that I intend to try and get once we get to the top flight. Because hopefully we'll have a little bit more cash sloshing around by then. Lost the hope, anyway. Uh, right, did I do these lookups? Yoga, we did Nuro, we did Torres, we did E, we did Volumark, we did Monk, we did Booty, and I'm flying. Flying, I say. Plus, we get to start Panache up top next time. I love that we're getting him on less money as well. The guy from Zagreb. Oh, God. Um, who was the guy from Zagreb? From Zagreb. Oh, do you mean... And Woos, he wasn't actually from Zagreb. If you, uh, you might have missed this part. Uh, he's not actually from Zagreb. Do you mean the goalkeeper? He He's actually at Water FC. I was showing um, a simmed save I did where I put him at Zagreb so I could watch his development to keep it, see if he's any good or not. How many players? He doesn't do other large ends. Oh. Uh, Ovalar's here. He's just gash. Which is a real shame. Also, I just, I don't know what's happened to him visually <laughs> since we last had a picture. But yeah, that, this is Fernando Ovalar this year. He's even worse. Doing a save in Canada. Oh, yeah. I, I believe that we're going to be able to get a Wusu, but we are going to have to wait until we're top flight. That and he's younger anyway. So the one downside is that I'm hoping he doesn't sign for Porto because that's the club I've seen him sign for a few times. Luisinho, thank you for the follow. And Mr. Nachos, thank you very much for the three months. Hope you're well. George Dobson. Ready for this new save. Let's go. I'm frothing with excitement. Uh, best I can do is Barry Robson. <laughs> Unfortunately, Jamie. Who does George Dobson play for? Did I spell his name wrong? I'll refund your points for now. Paraguay and Rooney. How'd you split? Okay, that's what I mean. I feel like he's achievable. I feel like he is achievable, yeah. In November, the club is leaking money. Oh, yeah, no, the club will be leaking money because there's barely any prize money or anything like that. We're not really going to have any cash until we can start getting some European money flowing. So we're going to have to rely on freeze and loans because freeze and loans are so damn important in the early stages of any save. Look, look to the kid gone actually, yeah? Uh, no, I mean, <laughs> like, <laughs> I don't think he's going to sign for a Hungarian side and I don't think there was a lookup for Ghana. Well, there was actually earlier. Um... Can we loan Classy? No, not a chance. Uh, I don't want to loan Zwigan more. I actually quite like him. Cla Classy wouldn't even join like much better teams than us. He's getting game time. Fries will do whatever it takes for Mutin Banyoka to succeed. I just love seeing Thais Fries existing in this database. Just, I just love that he exists. Nico Jones. Bear in mind, that would be non-EU. Uh, Brentford. 2k a week no chance he would he would be non-eu uh, is he just brand new signing for brentford no he wouldn't he probably would come alone actually but it's more a case of um i don't really want to pay two thousand quid we literally can't even pay that oh, i could lose you know but we have a player lookup thing for stuff like that so we don't get bogged down uh what was your lookup uh, i've done all the lookups up to this point I, i've still got one more to go actually we've got mateos anios that was the last one yeah, we'll just get random money. Oh, apparently Anios is not there. Hmm. He's ROI. Uh, he's also Irish, but is he trained in? Yeah, but that doesn't actually... Let me just check. That should be okay, actually. But even so, I'm still we still can't afford him either way. <laughs> so it's not going to make any difference for us. We can't afford to load a player for two grand a week. Uh, the board literally won't allow it, unfortunately. Yeah, and your sadly is not there, which is a shame. Der Pipe! Thank you for the follow. Right, now I'm caught up on all the lookups. Uh, Scott, there's so many friendlies in there. Oh, we get to play FOT soon. Pitch alteration. We'll leave that as default for now. Three non-EU players, yes. But bear in mind, we... But again, I cannot stress this enough. He's, we can't afford to pay his wages. Like he's on two grand a week and we can't offer that amount of money. I'm not going to spend our entire wage budget on a, um, a loanee from Brentford when we don't need to. Bubu Conte. Problem with these, these are loads of like, I don't want to sign like a 36 year old. Let me just get rid of any of the, what, hang on. Whoa, 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 whoa. Sorry. It's not that I don't want to sign a 30. Right, let me. If they're like 32, 
I'm not bothered. 32 to 35, I'm just like, you're just too old. If you're 42, suddenly I'm interested. He looks like... He looks a tiny bit like Danny Trejo. Just a teensy little bit like Danny Trejo. 14 jumping. He's got... 2k a week. Oh, he just... He's too expensive. I wish... Hang on. Oh. It's Trejo Dino. We, we literally can't afford him. Give him a year. <laughs> I don't, I'm afraid if I give him a year, he might die. Yeah, he's just too pricey. That's a shame. Uh, I'm loaning youth out. What ages should you leave them in the under-19s playing under-19 games? Uh, well, when it comes to a save like this, never. <laughs> if you can loan them, loan them. God damn it. Because he'd want like 3k a week. We obviously can't afford him. What if there's any other old boys? Obviously, these guys are. They're not old enough to be considered memeable. <laughs> just basically... <laughs> They're too old. Right. What about the rest of you? What have you got for me? I forgot this only goes down to like B, doesn't it? Right. Is there anyone that's actually magical? You're at Salzburg. We, as much as you are very cheap, we still can't afford you because you cost money. Uh, bang boy. Okay. Food show bang boy. D interesting name. We've got Nick Baker. These are the kind of guys that I don't mind trialing. But everyone else, we literally can't afford them. Because they have a transfer fee. Which is very annoying. Anyone else that's free? Pavkovic? Hang on. Match is hungry? What do you, what do you mean match is hungry? Stop putting... So I tell the swamp <laughs> Mister, I, I cancelled all the recruitment focuses. How dare you add new ones? I swear I have set for me to create those, not you. Hang on. How do I... Is there not a please don't make recruitment focuses without my permission button? <laughs> the steak bake. Thank you for the follow. Uh, most of these guys. Actually, you're... Oh, no, you've got a club. And you're a million pounds. Like, really? That must be an agent offer, surely. No. He's a highly recommended player. Is he? Highly recommended. 1.8 million pounds. This is what I mean. Like, why are you bringing me a player that costs 1.8 million pounds? Top option. Is it? Assigning scouts. No, 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 no. That. Surely. But I swear you can still do the thing where you actually can set up scouting assignments that are separate to the recruitment focus. Or is that a glitch? On loan. He is alone, but it's not even that good. I hate recruitment focuses so, so, so much. <laughs> I loathe them. Let's get Nick Becker back. Might qualify for Europe. Yeah, no, so basically, in a lot of my tests, when they go up first season, the second season, they very often qualify for Europe. Uh, Nick Backer. Wow, he's actually really stable. Not even as a wing back, just he's a really good centre back. How much money have I got left? Not a lot, and I want to be careful. Because Jarju's going to join us as well. And that's another £500. We've probably still got room for... Maybe a loan or two. Honestly. We'll turn off the assigned scouts. I suppose, yeah. Right, okay. Let's just play against Budaforge. See who's left in the squad that we can actually play here. Uh, well, we know who's going to start up front today. It's Panache and Mutibanyoka, obviously. I'll let the rest of the team just kind of... There's too many games too close together. We'll just kind of let whoever plays play, I think. Unless there's anyone that's fresh. I kind of want to start Zwigabor again. I've really liked him in that friendly. Because I don't want to give too much time to players that are on trial. Because they're just wasting spots in our squad for these games. Prince, Ad People keep saying Prince Adu Kwebena. Who, who is Prince Adu Kwebena? I should just clarify. Dumping a random name in the chat is not informative or helpful. Um, Sepe. Oh, no, no. He's, he's dead. Uh, oh, wait. Varju. Actually, you know, Varju could play there because he's the ineffective centre back, isn't he? We'll get Nodgin again. That's okay, actually. Yeah, that, that's. The biggest example of me of how annoying the recruitment focuses are is the one with the loan thing where we tested before. That Stuff like that is just annoying as all hell. 
because it's just not helpful. With Xanthi, no players at all. Good God. So you quite literally have to build a squad. Um, bit of that, bit of that, bit of that. Actually, I might leave it at that. Whenever I see green, I'm just like, right, we're out. Would that I could, Rob. It's just, uh, he's probably, actually, he probably is in the day, basically, to be fair. Next game, I start in 15 minutes straight red card, sold in two days later, too hard. Oh, I mean, the player dynamics. Oh, they're still just as bad as last year. In fact, I say they're just as bad as last year. They are the same because I don't think they've been touched. I think they're completely untouched from last year. Which is sad, isn't it? Free gone AN AMC at 19 years old. Okay. Um, you say, for, I mean, let's just, let's just test this theory. How free are we talking? <laughs> um... This chap here. Can't hurt to trial him, I suppose. But I'm assuming he's actually an AMC. It's just that the... Because we have less scouting knowledge. Not normally playable. Oh, I see. But did you not hit, like, um, add players to playable teams at the start of the uh, save? Oh, he's a striker. Okay. Also, he was injured, but it could be minor, to be fair. Whole score was super. So, oh, hang on. Panache's already through. Oh, it's so close to a first goal for him. So, you, most of you wouldn't have seen this, but on the last or the one before, done the United stream, a player who had a work permit because he was here and playing football for us came to me and said that he basically he was worried that he wouldn't get a work permit when his contract was up for renewal. And he was furious about that. And my response was, the fuck's that got to do with me? I'm a manager, not the president. Like, do you know if there's a train coming? What? And oh, then, yeah, so because we couldn't then provide yeah, any kind of reasonable not. solution to it, because obviously there was no option that didn't piss him off, the club, the three players then came to me and said they were pissed off at me because he didn't have a work permit. And I'm just like, there is literally nothing you can do there other than upset your squad when there is just bullshit. It's just so annoying. And then the meeting itself, where I was supposed to deal with that, by the way, Panache scored, right? The meeting itself, I couldn't even attend the meeting. There was no button. It just said the players were unhappy. They'd like to call a meeting. And there was no button to join the meeting. It just messy as all hell. Nabu and 25 laugh. Thank you so much for the follows. We're playing very well here. Creating stuff. Panache scored a goal. Oh. Imagine him being the hero of the early part of this save. I would not have... Has it happened to Kev as well? Interesting. Close enough for the meeting room. Literally, they had a meeting without me and just told me about it. They sent me a little note being like, hey, there's a party happening and you're not invited, Matt. Who are the legacy characters? Uh, you're going to have to define that one out for me, Comrade. A mutiny, yeah. Didn't even try and bribe the government for him. I know. I didn't even start a political action fund. What kind of human am I after all that? <laughs> oh, here we go. I really like Zwiegaba. He just seems to make the right decisions almost always. Oh, look at this. Van Ecton's just... Okay, never mind. He's done a Bruno Fernandes there nearly. Nice. Backer again. Oh, Backer's in the team. Swigaba. Oh, I told you I like this guy. Ako Swig... He's very good. I, has he got high potential? I really... Oh, look at the dance. Love that. People from, so we've got Emmett and we've got... um, Thighs Freeze. Those are the two. Emmett's the head of youth development. Thighs Freeze is our assistant. But we have just signed Panache Mutin Banyoka. And he's absolutely outrageous. Wasn't going to get a work permit. Meanwhile, he was a month away from citizenship. Yeah, it's... But it's the fact that the player can get annoyed at you because they're not going to get a work permit. It's like, play for your national team more. Be a better footballer. Like, you got one to sign here. Very strange. Oh, yeah, and obviously, Lumen Mihov is the manager. Yeah, they need to look at that because that, to me, is a glitch. I understand a player getting annoyed, maybe, if... Upon extension, you can't get the renewal. But this was like eight months before they were due for a contract extension. So it's like, you currently have a work permit. Stop complaining. And even if they didn't, that isn't my problem. <laughs> well, it's my problem, but it's not my fault. You know, Panache's in again. Oh, I'm liking him a lot. Admittedly, he scored an absolute tap in earlier, but he still put the ball in the net. That's all we can ask for. I think it'll be a fantastic... Him and Petroso are going to give us a nice, youthful front line 
while Nemeth continues to get injured every week. But at least we've got... We're just bringing in the young talent to freshen the squad out while the older... We could even let a few of the older players go. Kovats? It's three. It's three. Come on. But it isn't playing... Yeah. That's another one. They'll complain about not being... Like, oh, I don't think I'm getting enough football to be in my national team. It's like, mate, we're in League 2 and you're French. Like, sit the fuck down. No, this isn't a league game. This is We're still getting through some of the friendlies to finish things off. But we're actually looking a lot more composed now. Baka has had a great game so far. That's exciting. I know we probably can't afford him, but it's just exciting that he looks so good. Oh, God. Oh. So I tell the okay. I thought for a second that might have been a back pass. Thomas Edward, thank you for the follow. I'd back it. Oh, I would. I'd eat him like a fish. Not like how a fish would eat. Oh, that's a... I was going to say it's a good pass, but it's not. It's a shame we couldn't get Somalia. What's weird about that is that he was eligible to sign for MTK on the other save I did. So it's weird that he wouldn't sign for them on this one. Maybe he's a better player in that save. I do love that we've lucked out and got like probably the best version of Panache possible. His attributes are so much better than the ones in the Dundee United save. It's like not even close. He's in again. Panache and he scored again. Panache Mutin Van Yoka. <laughs> he actually could be. It's literally quite a basic system, comrade. Really, it's just a four-two-three-one with the two DMs like we used before. But it's got a register in it, and and we've switched to an advanced forward. But honestly, and I've switched over the um, asymmetries of the wingers and that. But it's it's just working so far. It does help when you've got peak panache though the fact that he's actually got like 14 pace in this version rather than the 12 he had at dundee united like he probably could have ripped it up in this league with 12 pace but the fact that he's got 14 14 and 14 finishing or is it 15 he's gonna be a monster oh, oh, i'm so excited about that kick cub thank you for the follow oh pano chocolate what a man i'd eat him up panache is even better than that he must have a lot of o's because this one is if we compare this panache to the one we had at Dundee United, it's not even close. Yeah, we do need to bring back his Facebook pic. It was so much nicer. It was just him going, hey. <laughs> like fucking, like a Zimbabwean Fonzie. That was a chaotic chance, but those are the types of chances you're going to concede. Thailand International. Is it Muniata, potentially? Is it, was it Musiata? I can't remember the name of the guy. Squad red rules in Hungary are... Um, in the second tier, kind of strict. Top flight, very, very relaxed indeed. Two DMs this year seems to be really OP. Which I suspect is part of the reason why it defaults to it for a lot of tactics that wouldn't have had last year. Oh, nice one, KitKub. Welcome in, my friend. Hope you have a lovely day. Oh, I want to look. Show me your panache, chat. Show me where you're pissed from. Okay. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, yours is even better than mine. And mine's good. This is my panache. So, 14 and 14 on that, but 13, 14, 14 there. Whereas you've got 15, 15, 15, and 11. Yeah, you've got an even better panache than I do. Although, yours has got worse acceleration. I think he's just got a lot of zeros in his um, attributes or something. So, he generates randomly a lot of the time. And mine's just... Mine's still pretty good. Rate my panache, in it. Two dungeon masters don't they trip over each other. <laughs> Have I met any subs yet? No, okay, really should do that. Get Kovacs in, we'll get you out. We'll get you in. Zwiegerberg again, though, really happy with him. Uh, back has been really good as well. We'll get Makonya in there too. Just bringing in random people now. What nation? Hungry. Panache has a lot of panache. I hate the fact that I keep instinctively calling him Panache now. This is what happens when I sign him on a YouTube save and I get relentlessly corrected even though it's a joke. <laughs> Gets into my head, you know. Here's a fun fact. Voltaire can track uh, you cover. Thank you for the follow. Oh, hang on. Is it again? Hat trick. It's a hat trick for Panache Mutin Banyoka and the Pog has returned just as Panache completes his hat trick. Hello. How do? How was driving? Good. Yeah? Hit any brum brums? 360 spins? Fucking Bay Park no scope. <laughs> That's a great finish. First time. Lovely strike. Pog's back. Hello. You're right. 
<laughs> William Lepogum. Who was the Pog-related player we had last time around? I've forgotten. D little barrel roll? Yeah. Have you ha you, what, you're telling me you've never done a barrel roll park? I'll tell you after stream. After stream? Mm. What, is, why is after stream? Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Dox me. <laughs> Oh, the Bulgarian left back. Yeah, Pog Pod and over. Kovac is in. And it's 5 0. Okay, I'm liking what we're doing now. Yes, I have, but it's a driving test. What is it? December the. December 6th. December 6th. There you go. You might crash into each other. April. Bloody April. Yeah, M got a cancellation. Yeah. Was that 6 0? Oh, my bad. The score didn't update quick enough. We're only two lessons next week. Two lessons next week? Double dipping. Look at you. God. I think you're well justified in doing that considering how much money I took out of the savings the other week to pay a tax bill. <laughs> oh, are we going to concede? Nope. We don't concede goals. Useless. Bunasar. I want to annoy you for a bit. It's a 40k a week. That's insane. Can I... Well, I mean, you never normally ask, so... You're welcome to share your presence. How dare you? We really need to get God, God words in, don't we? Godwords is a player. His name is Godwords. Oh, he's in again. <laughs> Chat, I think we might have found... This is panache of the... That's offside, but like... um, Because we've scored six goals and they've scored no goals. Thank you. I need to, I need to Mr. The Bear. Call me Mr. The Bear all you like. <laughs> Not embarrassed, bruv. Pog the tank engine. And then there's me with my little fidget toy. Yes, yeah. Have a fidget with it. Well, while Pog's playing with herself, we'll, um... <laughs> Go on, another goal. Lovely stuff. We'll drop for Christmas him. <laughs> chat can help. Chat can't help. I want nothing from chat. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I do love that you never get to do a resub message. Pog, Pog, look, look, you might have noticed, chat, that Pog never does reset messages in chat. It's because she literally can't. I know, it makes me sad. Uh, I just miss chat all the time. Yeah. <laughs> and me. This is a much better performance. So I tell the swamp uh, Fatella for life. Thank you. Or Fatal. No, the... Yeah, Fatella for life. Thank you for the follow. Have having a lovely afternoon. Childish spreadsheet again. Panache's in again. He's offside again, but the point is he just keeps getting into those positions. It's it's glorious. He reminds me so much of the panache we had over in Africa during our African adventure save. The one that scored like 40 goals for FC Platinum. And I think he got a buttload of goals for us as well. Because every time he got into a goal scoring position, he would just score. It feels like we've got a version of him that's a bit like that. It's exciting. I'll have a Gideon plushie for Christmas. Indeed, yeah. Offside more than I show speed. Do you guys see that Ellis is doing a video with speed? What are you giggling at? <laughs> so Baka got a 9.9 .9 in that game. Three assists. If he's affordable, I wouldn't be opposed. But we'll let time elapse. Particularly oh, a 9.7 for Panache as well. Oh, yeah, we can call him Nickelbacker. It's perfect, because then he can look at this graph. What? Who have you disappointed? Amy, you've disappointed me today. <laughs> what did I do? He's <laughs> just going to leave that and let that sit. No, he can't. So this is the chap. Yeah. Whoa, hang on. Uh, I think, hang, what's the injury? Pulled hamstring. That's fine. I feel like he's better than the star ratings here are suggesting. Like, there's just no way. Look at this XG graph. Speaking of that, right? Where's it gone? XG graph is on this menu as well now. I know that's not like a groundbreaking thing, but I noticed it the other day and I was like, what? Happy to have it there, but yeah. Right, what have we got? God, there's just so many goddamn friendlies here. Let's just... Where, where is things? <laughs> there's more friendlos. I want to... Oh, you give me my fidget back. I prefer a Matt did Iowa. I have never done ayahuasca, to your knowledge. 
Um, Mode approach for Capronchai. Uh, I don't really want to loan him. Oh, fucking hell. Panache! Come on, buddy. It's not acceptable. You've just joined us, banged the hat trick, and now you're injured. I will not be having this. Look at, oh, they've got a guy called Byro. Love it. Hope he plays on the right. Uh, loan off. I probably should take him off the loan list, because that's probably why this is happening. Patrick Paw's back. Patrick Paw sounds like a great name for, like, the club cat. How's the wage bill? The wage bill's all right. Like, we've got a bit of money. Well, a little. Uh, Rafael Lopez, thank you for the follow. There is a little bit of cash there. Obviously, Jarju's coming in. But I'm still waiting for the report from Liverpool, potentially. It doesn't normally... It's still only the 14th of July, to be fair. When does our transfer window shut? What if it's the same as the others? But it might not be. Uh, let's see. 31st of August. Okay, cool. Ah, but the January one is actually 15th to the 14th. If transfer window finishes on... Is it? Yeah, 14th is Valentine's Day, isn't it? And it'll be a lovely day all round. So we should be fine. We'll hold a bit of money together just in case. Uh, I'll just set this up however they want and I'll just insta result this one so we can make a bit more progress with these friendlies because I'm actually really happy with this tactically. I think I'll end up making more changes potentially to it but once we're actually into the league season. As we draw one all with Kaposhvari. Ah. <laughs> Was that a battering? Did we get... Okay, we were just a bit unlucky there. That's fine. I have to ask for the report. I don't think I've ever asked for the report. I didn't ask for the report with Dundee United and we got the one about Fulham. As far as I know, you get those reports automatically. Like you get them in your scouting report rather than as a separate report. But suddenly a load of players from your affiliate side will just show up in your scouting. Dinny the goat. Thank you for the follow. Oh God, now bloody Bognar's injured too. Some relatively small injury, so that's fine. Just want to make sure that we've actually got a squad assembled for that first league game because I want to try and get that first league game in today as Angelo Bonner's just joined Newcastle for 13 million quid to turn up for the books. Why is there a gap in the tact? Oh, there isn't. That was weird. For some reason, I thought it was a gap in the tactic. Nick Backer does look like the type of player I wouldn't mind bringing in though. I just want to see when our first league game is in terms of what's near it. Uh, so that's there and that's... Oh, that's fine. There's a week in between. As long as there's a week in between. So yeah, we're two to five now, which I think is actually better than we were before. We were one to two and I think two to five is even better, is it not? I need to change that to decimal odds, really. <laughs> Fucking can't stand these and I always leave it like that. Who's the worst one? Okay, cool. That'll be fine. Nobody else had him. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh, squad numbers. Ah, Zoltan Steve. Okay, once he's not here in that role, we'll retire the number maybe. But for now, auto number, and then eventually FM will allow me to sort this by the actual numbers. Sorry, Bents, but you're going to be number 28 now, my friend. A regional nickname like Sir Luba Mihos, we've gone Bogner Regis. <laughs> He's still quite young, isn't he? If I recall. He's one of our better and slash... Oh, no, he's 31. Maybe he'll become a club legend or something. I don't know. Yeah, we're definitely shorter odds on that as... Top score odds. Yes, that man who's injured. I, sorry, have they seen Panache? Panache will be top scorer in this league. I will... I guarantee it. Well, not guarantee it, but I strongly suspect it. How about that? We've not got any defenders that can play. Like, at all. Fuck it. This is where they all get injured and it's all my fault. Someone cut the end of... Cut, cut off one of my legs with a... On my two long jeans and threw them in the local library. I thought, well, that's a turn up. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh, dear. Three-month injury. Well, it's... uh, It was five to six weeks, I think, his injury was. And another one. Do we just like drawing one all night? Then again, this is Ushpest again. They're a top flight side. That's a re two red cards as well. That's less good. Biben. <laughs> Biben. Barnabas Biben. Love it. I am already enamored by Barnabas Biben. I'm guessing it's Barnabas Biben, but even so, I love it. I'm just going to call him Joe Biben. Uh, so there's Pecci. Panache was three months. No, no, no. Panache was like uh, three weeks. 
I'm certain. Yeah. It, it, Panache was three weeks. We're fine. Plus, we can always start uh, Petroso up front on the first league game if we need to. Uh, as we go for... I think we'll just get going. Get to that first league game. Ah. Oh. Any Liverpool players in there? <laughs> oh, my days. Mostly agent offers again, isn't it? Let's see if there's any fancy boys in here. Tyreek McGee. Okay, so that's... He's not listed for loan, though, sadly. Oh, what about you guys? 30? Not hang on. Is there any oldies in here while we're at it? Oh, at 40. Chat, there's a 40-year-old. Right, that's fine. Egid hang on. Egidio Aravalo Rios. He looks somehow older than that. <gasps> He's affordable. He's also 40. Right, here's the old boy. Appointed vice captain. Yeah, that's not happening. Um... And he's dropped his wage demands as well. And he's a defender. And he's actually not awful. Like, he's actually legit really good. Okay, he's our Dave Mulcahy. He looks like... Yeah, you're right. He could be Roberto Carlos' dad. Consistency, likes a big matches. Uh, Vice Captain, that is not happening, of course. You, no, you'd have to be mad to agree to that. This is perfect. One-year deal. <laughs> He's like, hey, he wants an extension. Uh, surely you haven't you got any Uruguay? Oh, he's 90 cap. Hang on, this man's got 90 caps of Uruguay. We're about to sign a 90 cap Uruguayan international. How about that? 700 pound a week for a 90 cap Uruguay. We just we signed a Uruguayan international in the Hungarian second division. This is the kind of content you're all here for. Uh, you lot are all a bit probably not going to work for us. Winston Reed's still knocking about. Why, thank you, Farty, because my birthright. I'll take it. Sort of brawl hide here. Wait, hang on. He's, wait. Oh, no, he's... Oh, I thought we played for Palm Beach Breakers for a second there. The, you know, the team I have that shirt from. There's Felipe Santana. Who did, I swear I reckon... Ah, yeah, from Dortmund days. Wait, no. No, no, I recognize him from Schalke, I think. Maybe? I don't know. I think I had him on FIFA. <laughs> Most of these guys are pretty rubbish, I would say, though. That's... Yeah. Although, actually, wait. Why is he an A-rated player when he's not good? Like, I don't... This is what I mean. Two focuses. Sorry. Two focuses. There must be holdovers from the previous focuses. This is useless to us. I would just literally just acknowledge the whole lot of them, although I probably should start discarding some, too. Played in Guatemala. Nice. Probably beating a 50 meter race. I don't know. Oh, wait. Mexico's Vesti want Diego Torres. But I want Diego Torres. Then again, we don't. He wouldn't actually fit into our system. Unless I retrain him to play deeper. But what's his defensive attributes like? Yeah. You know what? They can have him. By a random young guy from an African nation who has no clucky ears or an old guy. Yep. I I'm trying to fit in dressage guy, right? Wait, what? Oh, that. No. Uh, no. It's not happening. I might cancel that Hitafe game. It's so close to the Fotsy game. No, no, we need it. Plus, if we get Rios, that's all you need. The trial method for me is just way better. Oh, oh my God, it's happening. <laughs> Wait, hang on a minute. So he has an extension as well. He's 40 years old. He was born in 1982. And it was the 1st of January. So he'll be 41 halfway through this season. Which means... He could potentially be 42 when he leaves us. If he gets the extension. Love that. Man's first club was in 1999. <laughs> so there you go. But I think we should cancel it. It's too close. It's not going to earn us any actual money anyway. 49-year-old God. If I could sign Yuri Krop, believe me, I would. I actually think he's... The thing is, he's not even a bad signing. He's actually quite a good signing. Uh, collective win. So we can bring these down, can't we? Because there's basically no negative effect from what we've noticed in the past. And that will give us a bit more cash to work with. Yet now... There's room. 
potentially for another cheeky big si excuse me one second 500 pound a week at Mainston. you have no agent regan get an agent you pillock now i can't I will make you a deal. That's not the deal I had in mind. Because this could complete my day. 46. All right, let's try 40. All right, 40.5. That, that international clause is... Watch him become Hungarian later. Related to Booty. Uh, well, related in the sense that he is Regan Booty. And we're all related to him in some way, you know? Let's just pick any team for this. Um, into that. Because then we can go full out next game. Guy was putting up 6.3 today. No, he wasn't. Guy was putting up relatively solid numbers, I think, for a lot of that save. Even when he was way undervalued. Um... How dare you disgrace the Regan Booty... I will not stand for Regan Booty slander. Oh, a little 6-0. Chat, our fought fetish has begun. He's very interested. Oh, God. He's so expensive. But we can afford him. Potentially. It's annoying that... The worst thing about him not having an agent is that I wasn't unable to talk to him beforehand. Fringe player. Surely he's... This might be a mistake. No, there's no such thing as a mistake. Contract after promotion. Ooh. Could I... Surely I couldn't get away with that. Maybe bump the appearance fee up a bit. I might be an idiot. And I am, of course. But I think I might have just agreed Regan Bushi to a seven-year contract. <laughs> How did he go for that? Have we just got a really bad Regan... Mm. There's always the chance that there's he's a terrible Regan Booty in this save. Maybe we've got, like, lucky on the panache, but we might have got really unlucky on the booty. This feels too easy. I'm going to have to move some of that money across anyway. Oh, I can't, can I? If we get booting as well. Welcome to Regan B MTK Booty Pest. Which is not something you ever want to be accused of. If Regan Booty comes, that would just be perfect. I think my work here would be done. It's always worth it for Regan. But I know that he's capable of joining Hungarian sides because I signed him for Seged. Uh, no, 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 no. What are you fucking playing at? Stop scheduling friendly. I know, I know that we've got him set to, but like, why are you scheduling one there? Oh, great. One of our two centre-backs is dead. Rip. Him and Mr. Swizzles. Uh, I don't think we need any of those guys, honestly. I don't think Jaden Smith's going to help us when we've got Panache and um, Petroso. We Exactly. We've got Panache. We've got Booty. We've got... Who else have we got? We could get a Wusu as well. Well, not yet, but I think he's more of a next season type of signing. Jaden Smith's gone. That's fine. I do like this, though, when, the, 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 when they expire. That is actually a good thing. Booty transfer blocked, but we can adjust budget. Here we go. He's still only 24. We didn't get the Nigerian... Uh... I still think his attributes are better than the star rating. I really do. He's just solid. That's fine. I'm taking it. I'm also going to retrain to play centre back. Uh, not centre back. <laughs> That's the one place Regan Booty can't play. We'll play him as Regista and get him working on that passing. Wow, his passing has got a lot worse over the years. I feel like his passing used to be way better than that. Get that passing up a little bit. Regan Booty is in the house. He is an MTK Budapest player. And it only costs us technically £40,000. I'm alright with that. Think of the booty bangers we can get. They want Crass. That's fine. They can have him. Oh, he's only 17 though, isn't he? How do we still not have any knowledge of him? Sweeper keeper on attack. Hey, he can do it. He can play anywhere. 
Now we truly are MTK Booty Pest. Uh, Booty never played for Tromsa. Uh, it's the one save I've done lately that Booty never was had any involvement in, I don't think. Or did Booty? No, we didn't have Booty at Tromsa, did we? Or did we? I'm trying to remember now. I don't know if we did or not. I'll leave that for the moment. Since this is usually more agent offers, yeah? Yeah, 14 of them. Wait, what's the other one then? Highly recommended player. A Canadian at Halifax Wanderers. Karim Sal. Uh, it's sent about with seven heading. And six jumping reach and five foot nine. Like, not everyone is Lissandro Martinez. <laughs> Let's be clear. Any more 70-year-olds? Oh, that's a cool name. Gislan Gimba. I guess it's Gislaine Gimbel. But still. Yeah, I was going to say, we've, we've done it. Save complete. There's also Wellington here. No, sorry. No, it is Wellington. Yeah. Now we get to... Yeah, exactly. MTK Booty Pest to get to destroy the Fault Fetishists. We actually have a league game coming up. Wow, we get to finish off on a league game. This is perfect. I did not think we would achieve such a goal. Did he play for any of the Nomads teams? I don't know. He definitely wasn't in the Tromsa database. That much I do know. Uh, Nemeth will stay as captain for the moment just because we don't want to rock the boat but he will not remain captain for long because well there's just way better players we'll just keep things as they are for now Kishvada want Torres that's fine we already decided that we were going to pass on Torres yeah he was never in the Nomad save either I've learned my lesson now they've all left the club that's fine right oh 442 sorry <laughs> for some reason I thought Zoltan Gira was going to be up top for Pekshi then I didn't import Mihoff's picture because uh, for some reason, when I went into the config file to search for the ID to then locate the picture, it wasn't in the config file. Even though Emmett and Flies Freeze were. So unfortunately, I had to go with a custom one. It's, it's very good, bizarre. Uh, you came in summer. In winter. Head of sports side. My big worry is actually, one thing that would be quite funny would be if Flies Freeze got poached by another Hungarian side. That would be kind of funny. Coffee, easy. Thank you for the follow. Uh, no, I, I find if you ask them to stay, they tend to go more often. How to be trash? I don't know. Like I think, where are Pecci expected to finish this season? Oh, it's not looking good, breath. <laughs> At least not going down. Uh, Iguida's not very good. Luro is actually quite good, isn't he? In fact, like he's ridiculously good. But we can't afford him unless he. There's no way in a billion years he wants. Yeah. Just not going to get him. Uh, the only treat players that got employed were Emmett as the head of youth development and um, Thighs Freeze as the assistant. And of course, me as the manager. Bad take counter. Whoa, you're in the right place. <laughs> How many non EU do we have? Uh, so Booty and Panache. Or does Panache? Panache might not count, you know. Luckily, there's no squad reg. It's done on match day rules. So you can. It varies from one to another. Uh, let's just look on the loan screen. Because that has uh, EU national. So not EU players. So Panache doesn't count as EU. But these, these guys are both trials. They're trials. So it's Panache, Booty, and Rios. So those are our three non-EUs. I am doing a building a nation in Scotland. Oh, that's... I say tough, but... Like, you start quite high. So I don't think you should have too much trouble. However, because you'll at least have Celtic and Rangers and those guys to really boost you. But the Brexit stuff will probably still be quite a, an, an issue, I would suspect. But well, thank you very much for the 50 bits, Ashley. It's very kind of you. Uh, they want a loan deal. Trial's finished. That's fine. Um, I would love to fall off my interest, but we can't afford him. I might try and Phil Foden him, though. Worst can happen, right? We just Phil Foden him for a little bit and see. So, yeah, I think we've got our max of three non-EU now. And they're good three non-EU as well. It's not like they're muggy players. We've got Rios, we've got Boosie, and we've got Panache. I mean, name a more important trio than that. I can't. Delightful. Vestaloo, Nice. Oh, yeah, the Brazilian talent. Um, to be fair, even if I could search him, which obviously I can, but I don't know his actual name. I wouldn't be able to see his attributes anyway. Oh, so Panache's back. But I don't think he's going to be back yet. In the sense that I don't think he's going to be fit for this game. It might have to be Petroso that starts. I wonder if you can afford Baker or Backer. Expectations. Okay, win, win. Spoiled by exciting attacking football, countering on possession football. Plenty of entertaining football. Jesus Christ. Do you want any more of these? Hoping to see Panache make his debut. But Rika Booty was their record signing. <laughs> it was their record signing. Clause reminder. 
He's only just signed for us. We've not played a league game yet. Right, what about... He must have an agent. Right, okay, let's see. Maybe we get lucky. <laughs> yeah, we're not going to get um, Nickel Baker. Sadly. Not for two and a half grand a week, we're not. He's very good. But he's that perfect, yeah. Everyone is both... you got to break the bank for booty. It's just the rules. Okay. So who the hell's actually going to be in this team for this first game? So Panache through the middle. Hoover? Really? No, 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 no. Surely. Um. What on earth? Yes, he did. Is this because of the rules? That can't be right. I opened my own hotel. Yeah, why on earth would he start him? Oh, wait, hang on. Ah, under 20 players. Right, okay, we can work on that. That's fine. Chunky Monkey, thank you for the follow. One under 20 player in the starting 11. Okay. Hmm. Let me just hide players that are unavailable for this because that's pointless. Right. Surely he's Siebert. Oh, no, he's not. How old is he? Oh, he's 19. Wait, what? No, no, one under 20 player. Oh, let me guess. Born after... 2002. Shit. God damn it. So he's he's 19, but he doesn't count as an under 20 player. That's annoying. Um, in that case, let me just dip and see if we've got any outrageous youngsters available. Potentially. Palinshaw. French striker. Uh, well, the French striker would probably have to surely be Hungarian, right? <laughs> in the sense that what I mean by that is that... um, Oh, it does work. Okay, so it actually doesn't have to be... But then we can't not play Panache. Actually, we probably can because he's knackered. All right, he's not fully fit. Yeah, we probably shouldn't be starting him anyway, actually, now that I think about it. He's probably not, like, fit to play. Uh, now that I've... But we should probably be starting Booty. <laughs> of course. <laughs> and presumably Rios alongside him, though. The Booty-Rios partnership has to begin. With that in mind, that means I can play, um, yeah, friendo here, Adam, on the right instead. And now I can turn off the youth teams. We do need to have a look at the youth teams again, see if there's anyone worthy of bringing up, just in case. There we go. Kovac on the right wing. On the right wing? Or are we thinking of a different Kovac? Because Chappie here is not even, like, eligible to play right wing at the moment, anyway. Particularly as an inside forward, he'd be a bit awkward there. How about in match? Yeah, it will. It will. You have to still do it during the game as well. Bench Rios. Bench Rios? We've just signed a 40-year-old. We can't put Zwiga Bear in the game. Or well, we can, but... Actually, I might start. I do quite like him. I want to give him a chance, to be honest. We can't bench Rios. We've just spent money bringing him in. He's 40 years old. Man needs to be seen by someone. We've got a 38-game season. Um, chat. You saw that, right? I did not assign Regan Booty number 69. <laughs> the game just auto-assigned Regan Booty number 69. <laughs> Superb. Well, he has to be number 69 now. Why did it assign him number six? Oh, that's just luck as... That is lucky as fuck. Incredible scenes. Love that. Oh, I, I just really like Zwigaba. I, I think he's a really good player. He's looked so good in a lot of our friendlies. Which I know is not representative, but I have enjoyed his work so far. Fate. True. True. What is Zwigaba's potential like? Relatively solid. He looks exactly the same as the other guy. And no, not all Hungarians look the same. <laughs> right, let's go. Booty makes his debut. Debut? He's making his debut. Rios, the 40-year-old man, is alongside him. And they already have an injury. <laughs> okay. Moment of truth. Is the season going to get off to the worst possible start or the best? Well, look at the possession. Fans will love that, since that's what they were complaining about, apparently. 
Yeah, I probably should take him off the loan list. Wow, this has been a dreadful start to the game. A, a, a grand total of zero highlights so far. This is where Panache could have been useful. He's just a he's just a highlight magnet. We've ha we've had a shot. It didn't even register a single point of XG, but it is there. Don't you hate it when you do a full preseason? You're like, yeah, I'm feeling good about this, and then you come into your first game and at halftime you've had one shot and it's not even counted for XG. <laughs> but we're not losing, and that's the real quiz. Um, I'm gonna yell at them a little bit there. Um. Thrash the arms. Oh, God. Lahotsky didn't like that. I'm still oddly confident. How do I feel about England's World Cup team? Honestly, I just I just don't really care that much about the World Cup at the moment. I think it's going to genuinely have to take the tournament starting for me to actually start giving a shit about it. It just feels wrong. Everything about it from like the... just Yeah, just everything about it. Oh, come on with the penalties. I'm a bit bored of these already. That's like, what, the eighth or ninth penalty we've seen today in maybe four matches that we've actually watched. And they're always so soft. As was the shot. Didn't even look in the box, as you say, yeah. So we're losing to Pekshi now from the spot. Uh, that's good. Phenomenal start. It's fine. We'll, we'll win a penalty of our own, and then we'll be right back in this. Booty's had an okay game. Rios has struggled a little bit. It's a non-canon World Cup. Here's a fun mm. fact. Well, Concerning start there. Damasas, thank you for the follow. He gave the keeper. The, he really did. He went full Jorginho on him. Right, here we go. Let's start the comeback, shall we? Where something actually happens for. Oh my god. Jesus. Okay, that's fine. Just simple control, or just head it back into the middle of the pitch like a melon. Okay, here we go. Petrosos through. He's through on goal. Scoops it up. Oh my god. How an. Uh <laughs> He's like scooped the ball up twice there, but didn't think, yeah, I'll probably just shoot. That was good though. We actually got a, a chance available for us there. He's not really challenging much in the air at the moment, right? Getting on him. Come on. Coxious. Oh God. Good save, actually. It's a great ball. Mm, they've actually got better in the second half and we've got worse, irritatingly. And unfortunately, Zwigabar has done poorly, but I can't remove him from the team. Uh, we'll get Kamachretti on the right. It's a shame we don't even have... Oh, we do have Panache, actually. Because Petroso's at a six. But he's the under 20 player, isn't he? So I have to keep him on. <laughs> I literally have to keep... Hang on, surely Fukach counts, right? He's 32. No, it was Kovac, wasn't it? Who's not in the squad. Anyone at all? 21. I think we're fine. I think Petroso's actually going to have to finish this game. I don't think there's anyone else who's... Nope, 22... 21. What happens if you run a 21 player? I don't know, actually. Does, does the game just lock you out? It probably... Oh, he's 18. Hang on. We can bring on Hovart for Rios. There we go. And then we can bring on Panache like that. Sorted. Train the French lad to play on the wing. Yeah, but if I brought him as a striker, I'd prefer him to train as a striker because you're using up a lot of his potential by retraining him to play on the wide areas. You, you have to have an under 20 player on the pitch at any one time. So you can sub him off, but only if you bring another one on. They just have to start. No, no. Apparently, you have to keep them on the whole game. Like there always has to be a under twenty player on the pitch. So if you take him off, another one has to come on in the replacement. Is he ever going to take this free kick? Oh, it's fine. Panache's here now. I presume that's why you have to have two in your squad so that you can replace the other one. Hey, David. Hopefully, the glitch is. I hope so too. Um, we haven't encountered too much of that so far yet. Although there's still plenty of time. It's only the first stream after all. I reckon we just need what what on earth is he doing there? I reckon we just need one chance for Panache and it's game over. Well, not game over, but game level. I would like to see that chance, though. Because this is kind of a bit shit so far. Good God. They don't pick goalkeepers. Oh, good. Inter Imagine international management and not being up to scratch. All right, here we go. Panache into the channel. Here we go. Right, it's coming. Panache is just going to hold the ball up. Okay, go past the player entirely. He's into the box. Oh, God. <laughs> this is where we get sacked first season because of finishing like that. Oh, Bognas really struggled as well. Yep, that was trash. Uh, so, conceded dodgy penalty as per. 
Not that we created much ourselves, let's be clear. Um, Zwigaba was dreadful. Petrosa was terrible. But it's one game. Not a great start for us there, though. Hopefully we can do better than that. I don't think we're that bad. I still think there's a lot to this team. Hopefully. <laughs> I really fucking hope there is. We looked really good in a lot of the friendlies, especially against better sides. But then I suppose they could have been resting players. But that's fine. It's a long season. It's a 38-game season as well, remember. So there's a lot of games for us to get our shit together. And it might just be a case of us sort of building ourselves in there. Like, we've looked really good. The cohesion. I mean, it's going to take a little while, isn't it? Yeah, poor. What? They've not developed... That right there alone is probably going to hold us back. Uh, it's kind of weird how much of this is kind of bad, considering we've done pretty fine in pre There's a few friendlies in there. Hmm. When we win, we win well. It's just going to take us a little while. We can always tweak a couple of bits next time, but I don't want to throw the baby out with the bathwater straight away, just because, you know... Um, it's, it's one game. It'll be fine. We were away from home, right? Yeah, it was an away game. It's fine. No one cares about away games. Oh, help. <laughs> yeah, they're just too good for us. They're going to win the league at a canter. Every game. We'll come second to them. It's fine. He said, coping. Coping hard. Uh, right. Let me... Since it has now turned trays o'clock. It's good uh, you came in summer. See if we in can winter, find someone to raid. You can get very depressed. Uh, I mean, this is a very straightforward one, my friends. It really, really is. I don't get the opportunity to send enormous amounts of people around sometimes. But also, if you have enjoyed today's stream uh, and you want to continue the journey with us along the MTK road, then do drop a follow. That'd be really, really nice for you. Tuesday, Thursdays. 11 till 3 UK time and then on Sundays we do 10 you know, till 2 uh, there will be oh, recaps yes, on the YouTube sure. channel so subscribe there oh, the bad enough. take counter how dare you how dare you oh dear thank you for all the follows um, uh, Yellow Rambo Ma and Miles thank you very There's much that's very kind of you so I will see you of course on Thursday for more of this madness and hopefully we'll get our first win <laughs> and if we don't then it's going to be a fucking short save <laughs> We'll be taking over at Seged by the end of the next stream. Hopefully not. Fuck it out. That'd be dreadful. Anyway, I'll see you guys soon. Hold your gun. Capybara. Let's run over to Alice. Drop her some love. She's brilliant. I would highly recommend her content. Drop her a follow. She's a good time. I'll see you guys very, very soon. What was it? Hold your money. Cappy bunny. Bye-bye.